I mean, I'm down for a Silent Hill 2 remake. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh... Whoop, one year. Whoop, and whoop. deserve that support. Hope Thanks, brother. Fun with Final Fantasy VIII. It was the very first console game I owned, and I adored the world it painted, despite being slightly too young to understand the <laughs> system. Well, easy to understand as seven. Let's put it that way, right? Easy to understand as seven, yeah, for sure. Uh, you're in Mecco. It's quality stuff. Uh, Silent Hill to Mandeville. Yeah, probably. Uh, you keeping some criteria group, or can I submit my app? I'm not making an app, no. But I won't be doing them till uh, next week anyway. Won't be doing then. <laughs> Won't be uh, doing any more till uh, any more criteria until next week. Absolutely not. We probably won't be streaming super long today. How do I burn people in 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 game? I need that. Disgusting. John, keep it good. <laughs> <laughs> my good what beautiful eyes you have <laughs> spooky halloween uh you update the class week or for dragonfly absolutely not no uh no that was uh many months of my time sorting that out uh no i will not be doing that unfortunately no, I will uh, join the crew of... If I modify my own... I'm not doing, like, every class and spec. If I modify my own, sure, I'll share that. No problem, obviously. But uh, beyond that, no. <laughs> I mean, you should be able to just use... Um, it might be a little complex, because you could build... You'll have to build the UI around various talent choices. Yeah, that would be kind of a, a big job. That would be a big job. So you do that for every class and spec. Not as you. What? What's up? Oh! <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I would. I, honestly, the best solution is to learn how to uh, change them. They're not complicated individually, they're not complicated. And most of them you can actually copy and paste and just change the spell IDs because they work all the same way. So, like, doing that would be fine. Um, where are we going? Uh, we killed the mouse. What are you talking about? I crushed that mouse. What do you mean? I smashed that mouse up. Oh, fucking that went deep down my throat, man. Oh, true. We should get our Cafe Daily's done before we go see Hildy. I'm not slacking at all. Cafe's daily first. I want it. I want it. I want it. Did you feed the animals? I haven't fed the animals in quite some time. Uh... <laughs> I think at this point, it's better that we don't go and see the animals anymore. And that's probably for the best. Just let them be. Just let them be. They'll be okay. There's no real reason for us to keep them alive, if you think about it. They serve us no purpose. What? Oh, I already collected them? Instant delivery of the... Oh, look at me. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. I already got one done. Actual gamer. Is that a right one? No. What am I getting here? Oh, coffee break. Never mind. Never mind. Schrodinger's Island. <laughs> I'm happy with how we left the island. We did everything we wanted to do. We unlocked everything. We got everything we needed from it. I'm happy to call that piece of content done for now. I made the picture you wanted. Uh, it says error. 
Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic. That's exactly what I was going for. That's exactly what I was going for. Look, uh See, what I was trying to do was um knight kills giant mouse, right? Knight kills giant mouse, but I want it in the fancy style. So this is going to churn out some fucking nonsense. Come on. Two minutes. Ain't nobody got two minutes. Now we tr I tried it with loads of prompts. Loads. I tried to be way more specific. There is a website I think can do it, but you have to pay for it. And I'm not doing that. Checkers? Still going. Oh, is it done? I think it was just done. Nope. Some weird furry advert. Never mind. What headsets do you use? Uh, the Logitech... Uh... The best thing to do is go to our website. It has all the team's gear there. Team and gear. It's the Logitech. Something, something. I love this headset though. The, the only issue I have with it, which is not actually my issue, it's everybody else's issue. <laughs> uh, oh, this has still got the HyperX on it. Um, Logitech. Anyone remember the model of this one? Uh, it's super noise cancelling. Like, it's giga noise cancelling. Yeah, it's not changed the, the headset yet. Uh, but yeah, it's the uh, G Pro. Yeah, it's the G Pro, I think. It's so noise cancelling that often people are talking to me, like Chris or Emma. And I just kind of look at them and like... I have no idea what they're saying, like, at all. You can't hear anything out the side of this headset. Uh, is this space Omicron? It is, right? Yeah, you can't, you can't li really hear anything outside of this headset. You have to, it's a full on, so if you have a lot of people talk to you, you have to take the headset off a lot to hear what they're saying, but I love it. I really like it. When I try Chris's, Chris is using the Corsair and he loves that headset. But uh, for me, I can hear other people really clearly. <coughs> Let me check up for you. Logitech. If you uh, click uh, the gear on our website as well, Amazon gives us a kickback. Just saying. Is it Logitech Pro X? Mm, nope. Uh... That includes if you buy anything else on Amazon after clicking one of our links. And it doesn't cost you anything more. Just saying. Just saying. If you're going to buy something on the Bezos machine. Yeah, I think this is it. The Logitech G Pro. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, Logitech G Pro X is what it is. 55 large. It's half price right now. Look at that. I am using the wireless one. Mine's the wireless version. Half price, baby. Are you have a good mic set? Why would you buy a gaming headset instead of a good headphones for the price? Uh, because regularly I do have to use the microphone uh, on the headset. Much to the frustrations of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> much to the frustrations of people i'm dealing with because i have the same headset at home right i love this headset so i bought both of these uh, and i have another one at home and yeah there i don't have this mic set up and stuff so i use it all the time I, we have mod mics as well that's what we use for vr oh we got story stuff this unit is pleased to inform you that the culinary ingredient supply has stabilized and relations with the reconstructed corellians are rated as friendly as conditions for proceeding with the next phase of operations are optimal 
This unit has taken the liberty of ordering additional customers. Patron, you can't just order customers. Patron 003 and Patron 004 are being transported to the last dregs, even as we exchange communication signals. What sort of patrons have Sigma 4 reconstructed for us this time, I wonder? We may as well see for ourselves. This is not how you run a business. You can't just order more customers to come and spend money there. They, they militarized this place before sorting out food. Oh god, I forgot the bunny ears. I bet Zap was so happy. The cafe has a pleasant ambiance about it these days, wouldn't you say? The Corellians aren't even shouting at each other anymore. But where are our new customers? Patrons were seated according to table with a view protocol and served in accordance with salad protocol, which have produced a satisfaction rate of 124% among customers to date. Excellent work, unit. It's always better to speak with customers after they've been fed. Hmm. These patrons of the Grebelov race, known for its metallurgy. Records indicate that this civilization originated amidst the shining blue seats of its home planet, later adapting to life on its landmasses. Thus, the Grebelov diet includes both fish and plant matter. Oh, vegans. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear, is the salad not to your liking? The organic life form's preferences confound this unit's logic circuits. Please provide additional data. Oh, I hope you won't take it personally. It's a perfectly lovely salad only. <laughs> I miss all so much. I see. The salad brings back painful memories. Could we get you something else, perhaps? Are these Namazoos? All our friends are dead. <laughs> Ah. Well, wait, how about a cup of tea? What are we going to do? We made our customers cry. Cry! We need to catch them before they can escape through the portal to another Ostracon. If we can't cheer them up quickly, their woe will plunge this whole place into despair. They're adorable. They squeak when they walk, man. There's nothing adorable about squeaky feet. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I love a good set of squeaky toes, me. Oh, yes. Squeak them. Audio input registers no whimpering in this vicinity. This unit can only conclude that 3 and 4 have utilized the portal to teleport to base Omicron. Curse their advanced technological comprehension born of generations of metalworking innovation! Fear not, anxiety-prone life form. The base Omicron perimeter is perpetually monitored by patrol units. This unit will transmit recorded data of customer service interactions to aid in detection of rogue patrons. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm not pawing, it's just here. You guys are lazy. Fugitive Grebeloff data downloaded. Initializing pattern matching sequence. Sighting confirmed. Last known location. Territory between base Omicron and clouded portal. Target life forms were deemed annoying, but non-threatening. Warranting no interaction. Kind of rude. But they're squeaky feet, right? Squeaky feet. 
Anomalous data detected in clouded portal transmission record. Time goes suggest these unregistered life forms may be the Grebelofs you are looking for. Okay. Camera recordings confirm three ran screaming through base Omicron, followed closely by four. Did any patrolings provide additional data? Uh-huh. Then there is a high probability the clouded portal was the customer's point of egress. How did that little legs run so fast? Asking for a friend. Anyway, the portal leads to Ostracon Trier. Let's make for the abode that year. At the last, at the least, there may be more eyewitnesses. Okay. This music's a bit epic for what we're doing. So, uh, are we going with ears or E's for these? Aya? Ooh, to search for this long lost. I too have known this need. Or have I? Per this EA unit, the rogue customers may be somewhere nearby. If it is indeed the well armored beings you speak of, they entered our abode crying for water. Incidentally, their crying produced water as well, which one must assume is why they were carrying on so. Regardless, we told them of the wellspring of regret. Perhaps it brings them spiritual comfort, as we once found in our holy places. Or perhaps they continue to weep, even now. This unit would not venture to theorize. However, uh, projections do indicate that once the Grabulfs locate a water source, they will entrench there. Despite their sophistication, their nature subjects them to certain base instincts. If only they had stayed for tea. They must be awfully dehydrated by now. Come on. Oh. Uh, uh, let's go. This way. Agree, Palinome. Agree. You know what this zone could use? Lahi. They should have Lahi play in one random spot. It just breaks into random Lahi. God, I'm tired. Oh, fuck me. I am not having caffeine. I am months clear. Fathomless deep. You followed us all the way out here. It is our responsibility as cafe managers. <laughs> so we underestimated your determination and lung capacity, I must admit. Do you feel better now that you see the water? Query. Is the imbecilic life form malfunctioning? This unit lacks many of the traits shared by organic races. But even so, the visual data could not be more conclusive. I shan't dignify that with a response, but... How do you feel? Oh. So bad then? Yeah, bad. We finally escaped those pointy, terrible machines only to find this. We can't dive in this miserable little puddle. It's barely suitable for dipping. We need a fish tank. A big one. I don't want to be in this strange land. I don't want to go home. But we've lost so much. Did we finally lose our ocean soon? Oh, they're giving up. Oh, no. Maybe we should cook them. They look kind of meaty. I'm not certain I understand. Our ocean's truly superior to lakes. Our seas on the moon don't have water most of the time. Ah, like an old thalian. Big and blue with a horizon all of its own. This unit has never seen such a thing. Omicron protocol is to evaporate significant water sources that may be of use to the enemy before landing. Nice. <laughs> right then. <laughs> hmm. 
There are no oceans at Ulthma Thule, that's for certain. Even so, there must be something here that brings back pleasant memories of the sea, rather than depressing ones. You would know, sir. What's unique about the ocean, aside from the water? The beach has a sort of smell. The salty sea breeze. Uh... <laughs> I mean, the water really is the key feature, honestly. The beach does have a smell. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. There's a mod I think we should play. Uh... Check this shit out. Uh... It's called Return of Third Party. Yeah, it's, it's a third party. But it's called Return of the Ancients. Uh, and they've uh, added a lot, seemingly. See, hold on. Is this a two minute 40 ad? Son of a bitch. Uh, let's go to YouTube. YouTube is the way. Uh, look at this one. Right, so they've added the G Gargantuan Leviathan. It's bigger than the Altera. <laughs> it is vast. Yeah. I believe that's... It eats other Leviathans. Uh, so... They've added more ships and stuff. It'll eat the Cyclops. Uh, and then they put a load of other structures in it. There you go. This, this is the fucking thing. It's vast. Yeah, it's vast. All right, this video seems... So that's it stretched out, but uh, they, they put a load of extra story mode in it. Uh, there's new fabricators with new stuff that goes in there. Different materials. And stuff. I think this could be a cool playthrough. I don't want to spoil it too much but i mean it looked pretty dope actually it's called return of the ancients so it's got an extra story in there and you can build alien builder stuff looks kind of fun looks kind of fun all right the beach has a sort of smell let's go with that in that case perhaps we can harness the scent you recall to evoke memories of relaxing days at the store uh, one of the mods is for multiplayer. This unit acknowledges the potential of this course of action. Comparison of data from the dead ends and records on the Ragnarok show significant similarities between the chemical compositions of the oceans of Aetherius and the Grebulov star. See, smell it is! Once floor sniffs out a sufficiently ocean-scented ingredient, we'll sprinkle it on a delicious dish to raise our customers' spirits. Isolating odiferous compounds and querying database. Can't we build a big tank? Why don't we take them to the ocean? Are we that desperate for their, their patronage? Chemical match found. Constituent amino acids of the legumes located approximate coordinates will be useful in simulating the smell of your oceans. Similar amino acids are present in dragon scales. However, these are not so easily digested. Yeah, multiplayer does exist with mods. Surely we can find some manner of dish to cook with that, perhaps a soup. This unit suggests worrying about that after allied units reconvene at the last dregs. In the meanwhile, protocol requires that management gently prod the customers until they regain their faculties. I 
I'm going to expose myself, okay? Let it happen. Thanks, Pasco. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're a good egg. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Chris seems to have selected an array of ill, con Ill comments that need some more context, I would say. Uh, where's the one that doubles us up? Is it that one? No, oh, that's chance to get it. Shit. Bountiful harvest. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't even need XP anymore, though. Yeah, it doesn't particularly matter, I suppose. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry about my inventory. It's none of your concern. It's fine. We've got three free areas. It's totally fine. That'll keep us going for another week or so. Easy. Hey, can I sniff your ass? <laughs> no <time>. Thanks. <laughs> Three for now? This is fine. Unless Hildy has a bunch of fucking materials that I need. Ew. Customer vital signs stabilized. Social acceptability of issuing dinner invitations restored to 100%. <laughs> there you go. I've got another inventory space back. Ingredients confirmed. Loading recipe. Hava! It's time to get cooking! Should we not just stare at them while they eat? The salty, tangy, vaguely fishy aroma. How pretty sweet it is. Oh my god, they're seals. Astounded, it tastes just like the tide. A invigorating flavor. As if I've waded in and accidentally swallowed a lungful. Oh, such fun memories, even if they do sting a bit. We had many, many a good day, thanks to our beautiful sea. If I could go back to those times, I would treasure the blessings it gave us. I would keep it safe from harm. Incoming transmission from Stigma 4. Observational units report rapid changes to Elysian's landscape. All signs point to Grebulof influence. Oh, are they going to get a C? Really? Well, this bad thing for our fells. Oh, tell me they get a C. Come on, little flippers. Come on, flipper boys. They better get a nice big tank to flop around in. This unit fears for cardiovascular system, cardiovascular system of the excitable life farm. Recommends not keeping it in suspense any longer. <laughs> Fair enough. I hear water! It's not a sea. It's a pond. From their profound love and appreciation, the Grebulov's ocean has been reborn. Has it though? It will make a fine home for the myriad aquatic creatures. Hmm. 
smells of old fish. <laughs> there is yet much room for Elysian to grow and change. What other hopes will the power of Dynamis bring to life? It may be a bit smaller than the real thing, but it certainly smells like an ocean to me. And then you see the happy looks on the Grimoire's helmeted little faces. This unit did see and appreciate Allied Unit's assistance in fulfilling this objective. Crab paste. <laughs> we have land, we have sea. One does wonder what could possibly come next, not to mention what many items it will inspire. More importantly, this mission is evolving. Analysis of statements made by the Grebulofs as well as their overall demeanor indicates that their memories originated just prior to the star's ultimate demise. Once reconstructed, the individuals initially remained in a state of deep despair over what had befallen their world, and its seas in particular. Via Operation Soup, however, cafe management restored to them their will to carry on. These events have caused this unit to reevaluate the significance of the current mission. Mission significance and satisfaction with current orders is now rated as high. Yet this unit has unresolved queries. Metaphysically, this unit and other life forms in Ultima Thule are not but simulations. Memories reconstructed with Dynamis. Regardless of our actions, can these lives truly be categorized as meaningful? Not to cut your existential crisis thought, Bolthead, but do you have... Do you not have data proving that you are as metaphysically significant as anyone else? Our customers are affected by the dynamism of Elysian, and that's a fact. You lot may be a little different, but your feelings, your hopes, your dreams, those are real. So let's get out there and serve up some smiles, eh? We can't do it without you. <laughs> Affirmative. Thank you, Jammingway. Friends? Bunny friend? Right, that gets me the mount, right? Yeah? Rank 2? Rank 2 is mount. Surely? Sag. Right, hold on. I want to investigate this ocean. <laughs> Quick looky look here. It is pretty. One thing we don't seem to be doing is making the actual cafe better. We're improving the menu, sure. <laughs> this is not an ocean. I can't even dive. Can we go in? Denied. It's an ocean for them because they're short. Well, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> uh, are we getting something from here? Legion seaweed? Uh, gather bunches of Elysian seaweed from the Elysian seas. Oh, maybe there's another part. Hold on. Any deepers? No. No. Do you have a Tinder profile? I can't imagine anything more stressful than making a Tinder profile. Like building a wanted poster for your dick. That's, uh, that's a lot of pressure. Charge accepted? I mean, kind of, right? 
what do you i mean getting the perfect picture i mean everybody's guilty of choosing a picture that's a bit more favorable than reality and then you turn up Ooh. oh tinder's definitely still a thing pretty sure the others will be the dragon and the alien race to the north of the map yeah probably I imagine so. I was hoping we'd actually make the cafe better. Put in like a foosball table or something. Chad's use Craigslist. <laughs> Do they? Do they? <laughs> that I'm not sure about. <clears throat> Entries for the haunted house come close on Monday. Monday. There you go. Let's put it out there. Monday. Uh, one more. Right in the middle. Bummer. It's got on neon lights and such. Uh, I just go to the local funerals. Is there a thing? Rate Tinder profiles. That totally is. Oh, of course, it's on Reddit. <laughs> that totally is. Rate my Tinder profile. All right. What's what's the goal of this? I assume it's a gentleman. Or maybe it's her. I don't know. Hmm. Him or her. I don't know. I'm going to go with him and he's showing that he loves his grandma. Kyle, 22. All right, Kyle. Disney is my shit. Humanist. I love thrifting. All about finding old and rare things. Romantic. Taller than you by a mile. Seek discomfort. Clap, clap. Let's talk about that. LA Fitness Biceps, PC Builder, was on a few teen reacts. Hockey, my anthem. Fallout Boy. That's fine. No? Swiping? Are we swiping or what? Right swipe? I'm so glad I don't have to do this. Yeah, it's... Br oh, epic! Going for the epic shot. Oh, feeds babies, loving and caring. Left swipe? Brutal. You guys are hardcore. <laughs> you guys are fucking hardcore. What way is yes? I think right is yes. Left is no. Uh... Okay, this this is definitely risky click territory. I can't breathe. Danny, what are you doing to the fish? I assume she had a fish picture. Would you rather be... Oh, she's got... Yeah, she's got a fish picture. Would you rather be put my fingers in your mouth? Yeah, no. <laughs> you just gagged a fish. No, beggars can't be choosers. You're literally out here gagging a fish. How am I the beggar? <laughs> the fish came to me. Must be one touch starved fish. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh god oh these just like random tinder posts am i boring oh am i boring yeah i know i prefer day drinking where do you usually go for that winery or brunch bars la di da interesting i've never gone to either but i meant like what are the names of the places I don't know. Lol, Google some. Kind of hard to Google the names of places that you like going. But <laughs> no way. Oh my God, this is horrendous. <laughs> this is horrendous. There's no way these are real conversations, right? <clears throat> when the first conversation is literally a red flag. Hey, what's good? Are you trying to steal my comfiest hoodie? Yes, actually I am. Which one did you have in mind? Hold on. Uh, I don't know. You might have to pick one out. Maybe after we do cute fall things. Cringe. Should I give you my red flag list? Sure, we'll trade. One, I'll never believe you if you say you aren't cheating. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> That's the end of this then. <laughs> Hard to get to know and don't trust anyone. <laughs> I get hurt very easily, but not by jokes, by actions. Sounds like you've been cheated on. I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this is awful this is fucking awful i don't think i have but even my man looking or sneaking a glance like if i catch that shit i will physically walk away in public and you'll never hear from me again like batman nah <laughs> well said that guy nah yeah, bye. I've been ghosted so many times. I kind of get what that feels like. So I try to be as honest as possible. Yeah, but if you think that's okay to do, then don't talk to me. Wow. What, did you see oh, another human another being? Down my throat, man. Crazy. Oh, man. Last night's date didn't end well. A vague mention of suicide. What is going on on Tinder? Is this a good opening line? Most uh, most Christians. Oh, she's called Christian. Most Christians have been married since high school and you're already 25. I think you should just settle for me. <laughs> oh, I was looking for more. Please lose some weight. Oh my God. <laughs> Please just lose some weight. <laughs> Found the perfect girl. A shower thought I recently had. I don't think. <laughs> That's funny. How romantic, yeah. Uh, not clicking any of the NSF double ones. Save the elephants. Did you know that? Oh, God. Yeah, I bet people put a lot of baggage in these Tinder profiles. Is this how the Dutchies find employees? About me. Yo, I'm not really looking for dates or anything, but I work at Skate Cafe, and we don't have enough people on the schedule this weekend, so if you want to work, then match me. <laughs> and if it's really necessary, we can kiss or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fight to the death. Children's salon and retail at the mall. Bisexual shrug emoji. Lives in Chicago. I'm making everyone I've slept with in The Sims and having them compete in a battle to the death. <laughs> there can only be eight Sims in a household. I've slept with 31 people. Be the 32nd so I can have an eight, even eight Sims compete in each round. I'll let you know where you place. <laughs> That's awesome. My anthem is hardcore anal banging. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. He's my cousin, lol. Oh, we have to check. He's my cousin. Please don't ask who... Please don't ask who is he. He's my cousin. So, funny story, I suck at bios. That's not that funny. Not someone easily explained, lol, calm. Cool and collective, but maybe not all at once. Real shit or no shit, convinced this is all a joke. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's fucking insane. Left. I'll sniff a clean dick. I'll left. Yeah, left. That's a left. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Girls, come on now. There's no way you're saying no. There's no fucking way. Don't swipe right if you lift weights and got arms like the God of Thunder and shit. I support body positivity and all... <laughs> all that do you, you know, but I'm not trying to get choked by no strong John because I accidentally knocked over your wheatgrass protein shake. I don't know why all these girls with frozen turkey-sized biceps keep liking me. I swear I don't want to arm wrestle with you. I got PTSD and a lot of trauma from past and current situations. I need a hug, not a headlock. I can't. 
deal with this? It's insane. I hope they're all lies. <laughs> I hope they're all lies. <laughs> I just wanted to see what people put in their profiles, but I've gone down a rabbit hole now. I guess he doesn't like pasta. So, I have not used Tinder as you, it came out after I was married. So, I'm guessing you, you match and then you get a little conversation thing. So, this is after somebody's like chosen. They both have to agree, right? Yeah, so, you basically get just like profiles come by yeah 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 left or right and that's it and then if they do they then have to confirm right if you say you want to talk to somebody mm. that doesn't mean you get to have a conversation they have to agree uh no so basically you have to mutually swipe right that's what i mean yeah yeah so uh, it has to be mutual otherwise you won't be able to message okay yeah. come over just woke up is your invitation still open Ooh, two hours later unlock uh, I didn't check it, but sure. Another two hours later. <laughs> that works. So what do you get tonight? What time are you thinking? If you're hungry, I'm making pasta. I just never replied. <laughs> okay. Bummer. It sounds too complicated. It sounds like a mass effort. Yeah. Rip to all her matches. Too shy to message first. I Five shit all the time, actually. What? Not messaging first? Yeah. Five foot sometimes lift weights. Social drinker. Oh, God. Do you have to put star signs in? in? Fact, most profiles are boring as shit. I imagine so. Like, yeah. not, I think people seem to want to live some sort of megastar lifestyle when, in fact, we, most people just work at Asda or whatever. No, not even that. I mean, like, they should, most of them literally have nothing on them. Oh, just blank. It'll be literally like... Some pictures and then they'll go look at my Instagram. Oh, do top posts? Yeah, cool. That's awful. I got you. I fucking hate it. So. You better go away though, aren't you? Well, yeah, yeah, because you know I'm not a very social person. But uh, it's uh, yeah, <laughs> it, icky. It's not great. No. It's not great. It's not a great experience. I'll put it that way. Uh, Amy on Tinder. I'm excited. How tall are you, by the way? If you don't mind me asking, blind monkey. Uh, I am as well. Uh, it'll be a good time. No problem at all. I'm six foot. How tall are you? I'm five foot. That's good. I like taller guys. I'm not really into short guys, so just making sure. So where are you thinking of going for dinner? That seems kind of shallow, but who am I to judge? Because I'm not really into short girls and like taller girls. I think it's best that we don't go out to dinner anymore. Best of luck. <laughs> 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 oh, look, what a fucking... That's a Giga Chad play. Yeah, that's a Chad play. How tall are you? This height thing is weird. That, that's, that's a guy that's, like, taking him on for the team. Yeah, he's, yeah. like, get fucked. For all of us who are Can you imagine, team. like... I don't know what even the equivalent would be. Like, what's your breast size or something? Or, like... like if for women, it'd be weight. It'd be weight? Okay, so for women to go for the waistline, and for guys, it's for the height. I see. Craig, I'm going to be honest, you have the same name as my dad, and it's throwing me off. That's okay, I prefer to go by my nickname anyway. Oh, what's that? Daddy. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucking funny. That is fucking funny. <laughs> nice thighs, what's a sapiosexual? Fuck me, I have no idea. Google it. I'm smantering it. Well, I'm done explaining it. It says they're only attracted to smart fellas, which sucks because I'm only a fart smeller. <laughs> I can't believe within two text messages how quickly it is to ascertain that this is never going to work in a million years. It's, what, sapiosexual? What the fuck is that? Sapiosexual. Attracted to smart guys? What's that mean? Sapiosexual means that a person is sexually attracted to highly intelligent people. I don't know about that. I guess. Whatever tickles you pickle. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think you would be interested then. Oh. Where do I sign up? I'm sorry. I don't think you'd be interested then. I'm looking for someone to support me financially with a platonic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Can 
Wait, yeah, I'm looking for someone to just finance my life. Is that what they're saying? Totally understandable. Are you interested? Yes, I'm interested in having a platonic friend support me. <laughs> I respect it. I don't. <laughs> Fuck that. I respect the response. What does pansexual and non-binary mean? Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm a boomer. I have to navigate these waters. Pansexual means I'm attracted to multiple genders, okay? More than male and female. Non-binary means I don't fit into the binary means of gender. Got that. So neither girl or boy is somewhere in between. Thanks for letting me know. Do you want to fuck? <laughs> cool story. Are we banging or what? <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool story. Let's bang then. <laughs> Ah, yes. I don't mind my... T I don't want my time wasted upside... What's upside down smiley face? What does that represent? I'm looking for something serious. No hookups for sex. I overuse emojis. Yes, I smoke. 22. I should probably add in here. I'm six months pregnant. Looking for something serious. Been single for 10 months. I love coffee and being outside. I also have a pick of my car, but I lost it. So, like, please drive. There's a lot to unpack in there, dude. That's a lot to unpack in, like, such few sentences. God, man. These are like nuclear bombs of text, aren't they? These are actual bombs. How about you? That's weird. You really look up dog in that second picture, huh? Up dog. You got that up dog look on your face. What the fuck? You got the I get no pussy and let my dog lick peanut butter off my balls look on your face, bitch. <laughs> Make me laugh on your first message. Oh my god, like an audition. Is re short for something like Rihanna or perhaps re <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh. Most spontaneous things I've done. I got my tits pissed. I don't see a single red flag. Holy shit. America, baby. <clears throat> I'm not sure which flag that is. Which flag is it? It's just... <laughs> Uh, flag's a bit outdated. Okay, okay. Mad Tinder almost five years ago. I've been married for six months. Hey. I feel like PreachCon has a better success rate than relationships than all of Tinder combined. How tall are you? Five foot eight. How much do you weigh? <laughs> oh, no. That is just too... This is worse than joining a Mythic Plus and it falling apart before you pull the first trash pack. Like, just two sentences. Devastated. The whole thing is just crushed. That's it. That's all it took. Two sentences. Do you want to buy nudes? Oh, I bet a lot of, uh, a lot of things do use Tinder to try and get uh, nudes. No, I prefer getting them for free. That's fine. Sorry for bothering you. It's not a big deal. I just lost my job a few weeks ago due to COVID. I haven't been able to pay my rent. So I'm just selling nudes. That's really dark. <clears throat> hey, what's up? What are you up to? Your pictures are gorgeous. Ha, <laughs> thank you. I'm just wondering, how about yourself? Fuck you, stupid bitch. Are we swiping left or right? <laughs> Which way are we swiping? <laughs> Which way are we swiping? <laughs> That's a left. <laughs> we'll go left on that. 
Oh, they got married as well. <sighs> I'm so over online dating. Thank you. I think you are too. Why do you have a girl's name? It's a unisex name. It's definitely not. I just took 30 seconds to Google and it definitely is. Uh, I've never met a guy named Mackenzie before you, so are you trans? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> How can you deal with these people? <laughs> How is this the human race? I swear to God. <laughs> How is this the human race? What are you up to tonight? Oh, no plans. Was planning to stay in and watch a movie. What about you? Ha, ah, want me to come over? That was fast, lol. How about a date first? Let's just get straight to the point. I'm trying to fuck. Wow, I'm honored. Pass. Lol, okay, ugly. <laughs> Uno reverse card. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I just want to, just want to fuck. Red flag or no? Liberty, guns, beer, and Trump. And a dead animal. That's a pass for me, dog. That's a, that's a, that's a pass for me. Uh. <laughs> that's a pass. Am I missing something? I don't know. Haha. <laughs> you have to answer these two. Guilty pleasures? I will. Wrong. I don't believe in guilty pleasures. Oh god, we're getting philosophical. Explain please. Why would I feel guilty for enjoying something? Well, shadow fraud is inherently shameful, enjoying the suffering of others. Thanks for the mansplaining? Pass. <laughs> Pass. Ashley, do you pronounce actually as actually or as actually? Thanks, I want to kill myself now. No problem, it's my specialty. <laughs> I guarantee you there's a load of dudes just floating around Cinder, just fucking hard trolling. <laughs> just hard trolling all day. <laughs> Uh, fellas, are you all okay? No. I just read your bio. I'm sorry. I don't think it would be a good match. Out of curiosity, which part made you determine that? A single mother. So I'll come seconds of children that aren't even mine. Which is totally understandable, by the way. Also, you have kids and you're 35, so you probably don't want any more. And even if you did, it's about a 70% chance that you can't. <laughs> you're also an independent woman. So your career will come before me as well. Most likely not submissive. Have the same, I don't need a man, I want a man mentality as all other girls that let the social construct brainwash them. When girls typically say they are independent, they use it as an excuse for their bad behavior and masculine traits. I want a stay at home wife that's the mother to my children who will give me stability and will stay loyal to me and is submissive. Well, that's impossible to find. Sorry for the rant. Modern dating is impossible for men like me. It is a hard life that you, it is. It's a struggle, isn't it? It's a struggle for a manly alpha beast such as yourself. I can, I can, I can relate. That went deep down my throat, man. <laughs> Girls, you'll be struggling. <laughs> Girls, you'll be struggling. Uh, I wonder why I'm single. My illness is chronic, but that ass is iconic. Uh, what illness have you got? Are you good? I got a sickness for thickness. Just kidding. It's crippling depression. <laughs> so far, uh, it's Reddit, so it's very biased. The lads are funny. <laughs> the lads are bouncing. Besides the fucking giga creeps. Interesting, depressing, but interesting. What's this? Oh, shit. Statistics. You swiped 56,412 times. So he's 28, he's male. He's been on Tinder for nearly 200 days. It's left, left, right swipe is, is saying you want to meet someone, right? So he, out of 56,412 times, he only denied the girls 2,000 times. Assuming it's a boy girl thing. So he was open to 54,267 meetups. Of them, 54,267. 
54,063 no match. Just refused him. 204 said, okay, we can have a conversation. So that's horrible. He spoke with only a hundred of them. A hundred and six, I assume, didn't reply to his message or whatever. This. Okay, let it happen. A hundred, so 204, 50% of the girls who like matched with him just didn't reply or whatever. I had no conversation. He only went on three dates. Three dates. Zero relationships, zero casual sex, three no spark, zero marriages. That is fucking brutal. That is brutal. That's horrible. That has to lead to way more depression than going out and trying to talk to somebody, right? Like, genuinely, that has to lead to so much self-confidence issues. Well, the statistics on this are really interesting, actually. That doesn't work. But, so it, it is different for men and women, unsurprisingly. But in terms of, like, uh, women to male matches, it's, I think, a 10% swipe right rate on men. On men, a ten percent swipe right on, on men. Average. So obviously, yeah. on the, I guess this is on the downside, right? So this is like. What? I just feel like if I looked at this, right, I would feel like the ugliest toad that ever lived. Yeah. I would no. genuinely be like, "What the fuck is wrong with me?" And it's probably nothing really, uh, but like this is this is soul crushing to look at something like this. Uh, and... So the average female one, I just saw the auto in there. Um, so that I think there is sixty percent. So men will. Um, swipe right on 60 percent this is like unhealthy yeah it's I, this I, is way unhealthy this is not the, the way you should do things no no i i it, that's certainly been my experience this feels like it's, it's so, so bad for you it's so stupid that's horrible no way man uh okay what's the i asked i just asked for her to add me on snapchat you can add me on snap if you want goodness men terrify me why do men love to use their full names as usernames and then share them with strangers on the internet with zero regard for their personal privacy? Please do better, laughing my ass off. I will add you on Snapchat if you make a new Snapchat that leaves you less vulnerable to internet stalking. Please Google your name and then tell me you're not terrified. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, if I Google my real name, despite having some internet notoriety, it doesn't even bring me up. <laughs> so I think you're all right. <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're okay. Hey, yeah, you're good. None of these are me. I think I'm all right. <laughs> I think you should be okay, dudes. Relax. Shockingly, shockingly, we're just not that important. Check Discord. What? Your, oh, if you put your name in, you caught with some priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Name leaked. Oh, no. What do I say to not mess this up? You're cute. Uh, oh, God. You shouldn't be able to do that. From the girl's perspective. Okay. Okay. What's this? Uh, 13 months. Swipes 30,062. Denied 26,417 men. Swiped right three thousand six hundred times. Uh, look at the look at the match rate for swiping right. But you know what? We kind of need to see the profiles of these people. Like in a vacuum, these stats don't make sense. For all we know, the dude who posted his stats but not working might have had an image on his bio of like a donkey shitting on his face. Like that may have been a thing, right? So you you, you can't take these in this like weird vacuum. It's like all men and all women. So. Who knows? Who knows? One message. Uh, longer combos, 453. Never met 458. Went on five dates. Either way, it seems to be this is just a big numbers game at some point, right? 30,000 attempts, five dates, uh, three one dates, one multiple date, one long-term dating. Uh, it's actually normal. I mean, do we have that data? I'm just saying, you've got to be a little careful with the... Uh, individualized things you're cute and all but the 
A not being capitalized in your name is bothering me. I think that's actually a problem, though. I'm all for lowercase letters. I respect that, but keep in mind, capitalization is the difference between helping your uncle jack off a horse and helping your uncle jack off a horse. <laughs> that feels fake. <laughs> that feels so fake. I matched with this girl on Tinder. The convo moved to Instagram. She asked if we can... Why does it move? Why do people want to not talk... Uh, any Tinder knowers? Why would you take the conversation off Tinder and to Instagram or Snapchat or whatever? Why would you do that? I don't understand. For NSFW? Why? Does Tinder monitor it? Tinder... Just Tinder's got a shitty chat app. Is that it? It's a more... Com the app is bad for images and stuff. Okay. So you can't swap images in their chat program. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, so I love to be desired. I love to be desired. I have a secret power of being able to walk into a room and make everyone watch me as I walk by. I've done it many times. It's like spinning a web for me. I can indirectly influence the individuals around me and how captivating I can be. And all I do is allow my sensuality to flow freely and it is captivating to others. I have this game mastered. I can steal the attention of an entire room by just walking in. So when I'm meeting you, specifically, I will do so, as I always do. But you will hold my attention, only you. And you will be the one everyone desires to be in that moment. That is my game. I like to play that game. I mean, at least there's no ego involved, right? That's what we can take away from this. <laughs> Push your kids, you cook a good spag ball. <laughs> <laughs> very humble <laughs> very humble uh, super humble <laughs> humility is important i'm the most humble person you'll ever meet captivating the entire room as i walk in why do you keep deleting tinder are your parents bakers because they made a cutie pie your dog is cute unlike the owner <laughs> Why did you accept that? Don't get why they accepted the fucking chat. And that's what I'm saying to Raven. Like, why did you swipe? What the fuck? Like, if you don't... Oh. Long time looking like first time post. 25, about me. Must be 6 foot 4 plus. Bench 200 pounds plus. Run a 5 minute mile or faster. No kids. No recent ex-girlfriends. No records. Must have a car not older than 2015, a house in your name, a sense of style, swipe if your credit score is 800 plus, a six-figure income and no debt. If you do not have a college degree, you must have at least 500k in your savings account. Bonus if you have a boat, pool, hot tub. Pets are allowed, of course, but they must be well-behaved and properly groomed. Not accepting questions. Unlucky. Unluck, right? <laughs> okay. I just said I wanted to go to Japan. <laughs> uh, I want to go to Japan, and I also enjoy just dense cities and being able to take public transit. No, it's not perfect, I'm not going to lie. For someone who claims to have progressive and socialist ideologies, it's giving comedy... Commerce Dis white man? Oh no, because he wants to go to Japan. Many women fear going to extremely patriarchal societies for fear of getting raped with no retribution. And it's quite alarming that instead of taking sympathy, you are just trying to prove your point and your justification for going. I mean, by all means, the world is your oyster. If you want to go, go. I or any other person with my belief will not stop you. I just hope you see the situations you are getting yourself into. There are many other cities with dense populations of public transit in the US and the communications of color, of communities of color. Unlike the racism still practiced in a lot of Asian cultures, but do whatever you like, as again, only you control your decisions. I mean, I want to go to Japan. I want to meet Yoshi P and Co, you know? Like... <clears throat> Am I am I reinforcing the patriarchy? Misogynist? 
sorry. <laughs> of course you do, you monster. <laughs> Shit. I didn't realize the kind of pressure I was putting on myself here. Fuck me. Just go. Well, they can't stop me, as they said. They can't stop me. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. They can't stop me. They can't hold it back. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> what? Okay. Well, I ruined it with the last guy I was talking to, and I am actually sad about it. How did you manage that? Oh, shit, me. Uh, at 11 a.m.? Uh, such a long story, but basically, he's on my course. Kept asking me on a date for some reason. I said no, even though I liked him. When he tried to kiss me, I ran away after spilling three drinks down his shirt when I was drunk. Then we finally agreed to go on a date and he said he really liked me. And that when he's seeing someone, he doesn't like to see other people. And I was a bit like, whoa, okay. <laughs> then he's on my uni course, right? So there was like a psychology society, a psychology society meetup at a bar and no one was talking to me and I was really anxious. So I texted him to come and, and I was like, I want to see you, I'm anxious. So he came just so I wasn't by myself and then somehow kissed another girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then somehow kissed another guy in front of him oh oh then she kissed another guy and then somehow kissed another guy in front of him i went home with said guy who then put photos of me topless in the psychology society gc like under the covers in bed and i was his be real burial in the morning uh, and then obviously Rob seen all the messages and the burial, I don't know what that is. Then he was like, Jazz, I literally came for you and you left with another guy and all this. And then he massaged, messaged. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Uh, this is so long. Messaged me four days ago at 3 a.m. Because like, are you up? Because he lives one street from me on Richardson Street. And he was like, not to do anything, but to actually talk about what's going on with us. And then I was asleep, so I replied in the morning, and now it's been undelivered for four days. <sighs> That's a lot. That's a lot to take in. But in summary, she was so nervous, and nobody was talking to her at a party, so she called this guy to come and, like, just be with her, have be a friend. He does. He fucking shows up on the dot, and she goes home and fucks another guy. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> I guess, I guess this is not working out then. Yeah, this is a Wendy's. I'm just looking for a nice date. That's all. <laughs> hey, hi. You're a beautiful smile. What's the biggest fish you caught? Oh wow, weight or length? I don't really care. I'm just making conversation. A <laughs> uh, brown shark. I don't have specifics, but pretty fucking big. It drew a crowd. I didn't unhook it. If I'm being honest, I pass it to my brother. How about you? Oh, I don't fish, but figure it. Uh, but figure if I find a woman who does, I'll eat forever. <laughs> eh. Eh. What did I even say wrong? I just wanted to rate some profiles, but these conversations are actually mad. So what's the day for you at the gym? Uh, it's my brother's workout, so I'm excited. Oh, yeah? Explain. Explain what? I don't have to explain shit to you, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a chad move that's not a chad move that's never a chad move no way a horrifying opener you like this photo you're giving me jeff radama vibes in those glasses oh god i'll take it down have you ever dissected a frog? Do you want to dissect my pussy? I'm stunlocked on that one. That's a stunlock. I don't know, man. I feel like I've been kidney shotted for a week. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> to be clear. Guys, why do you do this? Come on, fellas. Let's represent. Hi. Before you go to bed, would you rather watch something you've seen before or something you've... Something you've never seen before or something you've seen a thousand times? Something I've never seen before. Send me your pussy. <laughs> 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 
These YOLO strats are not going to pay off. These are the worst pugs I've ever seen in my life. These are raw YOLO strats. This is just like YOLOing. It's fucking nowhere, dude. Oh, God. All right, the name's Heaven. Hey there, Heaven. Hope you have a good day. Good morning. I forget I'm going downtown with the girlfriend tonight. Can we uh, rain check and go tomorrow? Sure. Want to go with the original time of five? Sure. Something came up. I need to cancel tonight. I'm sorry. Heaven has, so has silenced this conversation. Bummer. That's, uh, that's actually quite representative of Heaven, as far as I know, is uh, a lot of reaching out and not a lot of success. Unluck. Lawyer school. <laughs> this is a fake profile. <laughs> Mackenzie 22 could be a guy's name. We don't know. I go to lawyer school at Harvard University. <laughs> I am smart. I go to lawyer school. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I kind of want to click the NSFW ones, but I'm not getting trouble. Gave him three days to reply. Was I wrong? I don't know. Wish me luck. No. Confirmed strat. Getting while it's hot. Let me pre-check this. Hold on. Uh, it seems fine, actually. Poppy, I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess you got you get called beautiful, interesting, and uh, here. Hey, how is it going? Be my big titty goth girlfriend quite regularly, but it doesn't stand out, which is why I'm telling you I'd throw myself feet first into a wood chipper just on the off chance my remains would be recycled as your toilet paper just to have a chance to slide between your cheeks. I have almost 800 matches. This is the best response. I applaud you, sir. Have my babies. Nailed it. Fucking nailed it. He went for the three-pointer. He went for a half-court shot. Landed it. Landed it. He got there. Yeah, he went for it. He went for the Hail Mary. Pulls it off. Legend. <laughs> Absolute legend. 40 and straight. I am newly 40. I am married. I love my husband. And I am not looking to leave him. He has some physical issues, so I haven't been laid in over seven years. F in the chat for that. I'm 5'7", 215 pounds. I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want to get railed. <laughs> don't message me if you don't want to do this. I'm tired of dudes sending me dirty messages and ghosting when I ask about meeting up. I want to hook up IRL. I need some dick. That's fair. That's fair. I think that's a fair shout. Yeah, that's based. That's a fair shout. Straight up, honest. Why use your few likes on Hinge? This is another dating gap I get. Uh, to insult someone, though. Did you get, get the biggest cocktail they had to make yourself look smaller? <laughs> Red flag. Six foot three, starting my own business. Respectively, if you are fat, don't even. <laughs> If you have more than 100,000 followers on Instagram, don't even. If your body count surpassed 10, don't even. If you make less than 100k, don't even. If you wear extra long eyelashes that touch your eyebrows, don't even. I'm a good cook. If you don't cook, though, don't even. If you're older than 35, don't even. If you're a single mother, don't even. Heavy metal meditation running feminism. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh sweet moses it's like a wrecking ball of irony just going crashing through the wall oh a long list of demands i have high standards to listen up bitches you must be solid than seven feet you must be able to carry a lame oh that's just a goofy one okay yeah you shall be a devout flat earther yeah yeah, yeah. that's cliche as fuck what should I use for an opener? I really love women who have kids. What specifically? What's that about? It's weird. Rat. Oh, he spelled it wrong. Suppose my name is Ray and I can't change it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
lucky. Uh, this could be why I'm alone. Uh, uh, fucking hell. I'm so glad I'm not in this. Hola. Hola. Uh, Como de esta? Did I, uh, muy bueno. Did I scare you away with my high school Spanish? I didn't even whip out my favorite line. Ah, sorry, whip it out. Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> Player. Dude, top of all time. Is this just top of the month? I think so. That's this month. Uh, ah, shit. Help! These are genius. This is like unreal. This is it. I'm done. I've actually peaked this time and I'll never reach these heights again. Amelia. A so oh my god. A sonnet about first about a first love. Write her a sonnet. What a nice, non-ironic ass. Subject matter is adorable, so here. She places hand to chest with heart ablaze, each halting thump, a dance of heat and joy. No other one could bright etc etc. And there we go, a sonnet thingy. Oh my god, made my whole night, that was beautiful. Just wait until you read the first letter of each line. Send nudes! <laughs> That's gangster as fuck! <laughs> that is gangster! That is gangster as fuck! <laughs> uh, okay, night officially made. But you don't even know what happens if you read the first of each word. Oh my god. So you do this to every girl because that's actually a talent. If only I did there, Amelia. Read the first letter of the second word of every line. What? Phone number. Oh my god, what a player. Phone number, please. Phone number, please. What a genius. This guy made a fucking play. This guy is too talented for Amelia. You should move on, dude. You should move on. In what message? In the poem, the first letter. Honestly, you deserve it after all that. Is that the end of the hidden messages so I can give it to you, huh? What if I told you to read the first letter of each of your own messages? Now he's missing. <laughs> can only play the magic trick. That would have been a super easy play. That was great. The beard stays, but you can leave. Angie, who also agreed to this conversation, I don't like beards. Then why would you swipe on me? Well, you could always shave it. I won't, though. The beard stays. You won't shave your beard for me? No. <laughs> why not? I don't like guys with beards. Sucks to suck, then. I'm not shaming it for you. I guess you'll have to miss out on me tomorrow night then. Those who would shave their beard for pussy deserve neither the beard or the pussy. Ben Franklin. <laughs> Best profile ever? Oh god, Backer. <laughs> Chloe, 22. I want to sleep with you. I don't mean have sex. I mean sleep together. Under my blankets with my hand on your chest and your arm around me. No talking. Just the muffled cries that you slowly let seep away from your blood gurgling mouth as I slit your throat and sacrifice your worthless life to the Dark Overlord. Sure. Sure. You're in. You doing it? Christine, are you lightning? Because I want to make you McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to think that's a solid opener for the kind of girl that he wants to get with. I happen to believe that that is a good opener for the kind of girl he wants to be with. Anybody who would shut that down is that's okay. That's okay. The kind of girl he wants to spend time with would be totally down for that kind of opener. Obviously, I'm no longer interested in communicating with you after that message, but I'm right to let you know entirely for your own sake that you need to do better or no girl will ever seriously reply to you. Bullshit. Bullshit. It'll pay off one day. You've just got to be a believer, pal. You've got to be a believer. That's all. The bio said, isn't Kentucky the only state that starts with a K? Kansas. Kansas dick for your mouth. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, fuck me. I want Ryan to that one. I saw you put an anthem in your bio. You like tapes and CDs? No, lol. I'm not 60. Well, that's unfortunate because I'm a tape this dick to your forehead so you can see these nuts. <laughs> Return volley. We like it. Returns the volley. Right back. Right back. It took him two hours to think of it, but he fucking got there. I bet he was talking to the boys. That's somebody he took it to, like, he took it to the boys. Like, I need to fucking get back at this. Took a couple of hours, but he nailed it. Redemption arc, yeah. Got in there. I matched with the first boy I ever kissed. I wasn't sure if you remember. No way, that's so weird. Didn't we kiss one time during a game of truth or dare in my neighbor's front yard in seventh grade? Have you ever really felt alive since? That's got to be so strange. Meeting up with, like, matching with someone from your past like that? That's got to be weird. Have some faith. So how often do people do world, pl world play with your name? A lot. I may ask if I knew it. What's like the top three? I want to try and beat it. Okay, let's have a look. I think I need a little faith in my life. I don't. I didn't believe in faith until now. Will you be my faith? I don't have any. Mike Tyson voice. Will you let me move my balls across your faith? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. That's a good play. Was this too harsh? Forgive my ignorance, but what's an ODP? Google it. I tried to start a conversation by giving you the opportunity to talk about something you're presumably interested in. Obviously, I can fucking Google it. <laughs> that is a true... That is a fucking true... Yeah, I'm just trying to talk to you. Oh, God, it's clog. I have train facts. And answer questions about trains. I research railway history. Tell me your dirtiest train fact. In 1825, there was a guy so thick, he literally caused the steam locomotive to explode using only his ass. I'm impressed. The locomotive's name was Best Friend of Charleston, and the thick man was the fireman, the man in charge of keeping the fire burning. He got annoyed by the sound of the safety valve, so he sat on it, and then the train exploded. Wait, I just fact-checked it, and you're right. Wow, I thought you made it up. I never make up train facts. <laughs> this is not a fucking joke. This is not a fucking joke. <laughs> Kyle likes to go above and beyond. That mustache is a bit much. Why you should go on a date with me? That must that mustache is a little uh that's a little dick dastardly. I play jujitsu. I have hob hobbies other than getting drunk with my friends. Lots of potential traveling for tournaments, especially a professional cuddler. He's made a little presentation. I have a cool mustache. Due to a bet I lost, I have to grow it for a wedding. The bride is aware and has encouraged it. Comes with a sweet cowboy hat. <laughs> I have not, nor will I ever send an unsolicited dick pic. Above average cook. I was chubby when I was younger, so now I'm funny. <laughs> Visual aid. <laughs> Before matching, after matching, after first date. <laughs> but touching happiness, memes, and sadness. This is good. I like this. Raving reviews. Is this for one of those stupid apps from my mother? Think golden retriever energy with husky attitude. Friends, girlfriend. Can a scientist please explain this to me? I'd let Michelle, uh, Michelle cheat on me with him. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh god she doesn't speak english and i'm not even sure the last line is a google translation of sugar daddy and i can't stop laughing i need my own diabetic father <laughs> there was an effort at work right there was an effort at work to make the dream come true they uh, make <laughs> <clears throat> How much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice? You'd think that, but no, polar bears live on ice. They'd be pretty fucking dumb if they fell through it all the time. <laughs> I really like these. I don't I don't see how any of these lead to a date, but it feels to me, learning about Tinder for today, that this opening line gambit is like a really big deal. Right? 
it, 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 uh, this opening line situation i don't think she was too pleased with me at least it's fun yeah i think so if you could like brush it off as a bit of a laugh i think you're fine height there's a height restriction to ride this ride Surely you must know that you're nowhere near attractive enough to make those demands. <laughs> oh my god. This height thing is clearly some sort of mega sore spot as well, man. <laughs> the whole height situation is kind of an oofer. Yeah, that's, that's a roasting right there. That's a roasting. Like, the opening gambit is height. She's not wrong. If you're over 35, it's time to forget about young girls and find a woman who can recognize size of a stroke. <clears throat> you're from here yeah nice know any good spots for a date museums is there one you prefer art i bet i can guess your favorite style of art go for it minimalism why did what's with the one word responses like fuck that one word responses fuck fuck you dude i hate these apps How's your evening? It's a must have on my checklist to have a job, a house, and a car, and it's a must that you be six foot plus. What the fuck is this height thing? Hello, I meet all those requirements. It's a must on my checklist that you have nine months of cash reserves in case of an emergency, a debt income ratio of less than 30%, and <laughs> put at least 20% of your income into tax advantage retirement account. I also require C cups or bigger. I think it's like a, a, a shallow woman thing, right? I would guess. My greatest magic, magic trick. Let's role play that we're old best friends who haven't seen each other in 10 years and we are talking for the first time since then. You start. Oh my fucking God, Kenzen. What, what is this? You're doing great. Okay. Cool. Okay. What, a legend? Kind of. Yeah. A good deck pick. Oh, sorry for the unsolicited deck pick. That was for someone else. <laughs> I'm going to expose myself, okay? I'm not. I'm happen. not. I'm not going to do that. Months, Pog. I was swiping at a dispensary when I looked up and saw the girl I was about to swipe. Baller! That's baller! Rihanna liked your photo. Damn girl, are you a microwave? Because, mmm... If I am, are you cold food? Because I want to shove you in my box and warm you up. That was filth and not representative of me as a person. <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> I want to be absolutely clear on this. <laughs> it's a good response. It's what came into the brain, but still. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, we got any more good profiles? I'd like them. I hate these apps so much. Is this, you've got to, since you shared your Batman story, I once had dreams of being a Powerpuff girl. So you were made from sugar, spice, and everything nice. No. And if that line ever works for you, you should question why. It's literally the intro from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for engaging you in the conversation you started. My apologies. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, another high one. Look at this. How tall? How about you guess? Six feet? Close. So what is it? Six two. Short? The fuck? Probably just to me. I like guys six foot five plus. And she's five foot one. Six foot five plus. What in the tits? How many... What is the percentage of people above... Percentage of men above... Six foot five. It's got to be like 0.05%, right? It has to be something ludicrous. Why is it not searching? Go. I'm so glad I'm married. Same. Same. Uh... 99th percentile, meaning anyone six foot four and above is a one in a hundred chance. Son of a bitch. 
the one percent whoop i'm one in a hundred yeah nailed it <laughs> nailed it i pretend to be a hot girl on tinder so i can match with my roommate and tell him i'm coming over so he'll clean the apartment <laughs> <laughs> Katie 18 Bro legit I'm so tired of pretending to be chill So guys will date me I'm insane Balls to the wall insane And that's okay Pussy is immaculate Head game is otherworldly I'm literally so pretty I will go to church with you every Sunday I'm fucking tall as hell So you know our kids are gonna be uh, D1 I will treat you right And I will cry every day High risk high reward Pass Pass What percentage of girls are under 5 feet? Uh percentage of women under five feet i'm guessing under five feet is probably pretty low pretty low uh the average height is five foot four um yeah the average woman is around five foot four mm. i think probably five percent yeah something around that uh, or maybe higher actually I do see a lot of women who are under 5 feet On a regular basis I I, walk, I probably walk past maybe 6 or 7 On the way here uh, I can't get numbers though I'm struggling to get some statistics uh... Hmm Well, there's a difference between being short and dwarfism. It's a different thing. Uh, I can't get numbers, actually. Unfortunately. About 60%, 68% of the female population is between the height of 5 foot 2 and 5 foot 9. So, a woman shorter than 4 foot 10 is typically considered short. And taller than 6 feet is assumed tall. In a nutshell, if a woman is less than 5 foot 3, she is considered short. But I haven't got any numbers. Yeah, no statistics, unfortunately. About 14% of all men are six feet over. Uh, roughly 1% of women. Are, so over six foot is about 1%. Uh, but I haven't got it there. Just how many Lala's? Zeppler is 5'11". I have no idea. I've never met Zeppler IRL. Too small to count. We just don't know. Maybe they're keeping that secret. Maybe they keep it a secret for sure. F is today I sat next to a girl on a bus and I watched her swipe left on me on Tinder. <laughs> That's fucking tragic. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fucking sad. <laughs> <clears throat> oh god, another one! Hello, you're not tall. Hey, you're not very tall, to be honest. Why include it in your bio? Uh, right, because it's like the first thing people ask, so save them time. Oh, well, you aren't tall enough for me, sorry. Jesus Christ, you aren't hot enough to have this shitty of a personality. What in the fuck? This would give you serious complex. But, like, the average person is... The average man is not over six foot, and they're all doing fine. <laughs> they're all doing you know for the most part everyone's doing fine this would give some this would give legitimate complexes it does i'm sure it does like there's a mix here between real fun and genuine like unhealthy situations and mindsets that are being drilled into people how many dates until you take me home to meet your dog my dog died three hours ago That's, that's just a really unfortunate timing. That one time you try and be creative. What's your major? How about a more unique question? Which vegetable gives you the most anxiety? Kiwis. A bad experience as one as a kid. That's a fucking God, Tinder is for rookies. Jump on Marketplace and search for wedding dresses. It'll present you with a list of recently divorced females in your area and you can filter by size. Oh my God. That's some fucking thinking. That answer gave me anxiety. 
Can you imagine how packed trails would be if everyone on Tinder said they liked hiking actually did it? Yeah, why is hiking such an average thing? Like, I don't get it. Top of bottom middle, sometimes jungle. <laughs> you got the League of Legends player. <laughs> Random League player just fucking rocks up. <laughs> That's legit. I met this dude on Tinder and asked what his last name was. He told me, then replied, you doing a little background check? You might find out I'm a murderer. Just ignore that. Okay, so I, uh, I could send this viewer. Well, I googled him and he was actually a murderer. Oh, that's scary. Destiny. I've got to know how many pickup lines you got with the, get with the name Destiny. Yeah, I've heard a few. Let's see what you got. I hope you're okay with an average guy because my D is tiny. <laughs> All right, last one, last one, last one. I need to do Hildy. You get what you deserve. <clears throat> are you free? To, are you free Friday? I've got class, sorry. All right, when are you free? Honestly, I'm just on here for jokes. Sorry, not trying to meet up with anyone. Fair enough. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, I don't know. Tell me. Sorry, I'm just on Tinder for setup lines. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, marry, kill, Bruce Wayne, me, and Bill Gates. I don't know, lol. Humor me. I don't know, lol. <sighs> hard work, fellas. Hard work, fellas. That's, that's, that's some hard work there. That was an interesting rabbit hole to go down. That was an interesting rabbit hole. Feels tough, man. Feels tough. I don't know, lol. I don't know, lol. That feels tough. That's a tough world to be in. That's a tough world. <sighs> That's tough. That was an adventure, man. That's an eye-opening experience. That is an eye. I'm going to die alone. Uh... <sighs> That's a rough world to be part of. Say <laughs> I don't know, lol. <laughs> I gave up years ago. It's not about giving up. Do something else. What would I do now if I was trying to get a date? Let's say Emma calls me. She says, yo, Mike, I've cheated on you. Get fucked. Um, leave my key at the door. Uh, something like that. Let's let's say that situation occurs. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, lol. <laughs> I know, I'll be it's fine. Go back to college. I'd probably take up a cooking course. That's how you do it. Or um, learn to salsa. Something like that. So I think the best play is probably uh, go to pool. Oh no, swipe right. For I wouldn't use an app, I don't think. I don't think an app would be the way. Do you keep Ben Dog in this situation? I hope so. Now you've made me sad. I might be X through 14 and my current partner through a shared hobby. So, do, yeah, exactly. Try to do stuff with other people. That'd be the way. I can't use streamer privilege. I can't use streamer privilege. There's no way. Can't, can't do the stream of privilege play. It'd be too suspect. Is it me you want on my gaming chairs? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I don't think I could use the stream of privilege. I'm not sure what the reality is there. Is it my assortment of cameras you really want? I don't know. The problem, the problem there is they'd be looking to date Preach. That's not Mike. Mike never speaks. He sits lonely in the corner, brooding. Like, as soon as the camera goes off, I get a real sort of like... It's like, see you later, guys. Thank you so much for the stream. I'll catch you later. Click, turn it off. And that's it until I turn the stream back on, like, the next day. That's pretty much it. I just kind of sit and brood and consider my day. You know? This is bad. Okay. 
I don't get it. Nothing changed. <laughs> it looks the same to me. <laughs> I can fix him. <laughs> I'm hoping for that. Uh, where's Retainer Bell? Help! No. Oh, where is it? Where's Retainer Bell? I'm blind. Where is it? Do the maze? What, you put it in the maze? Why? There's a red velvet rope. I can do it in my room. Whatever. I'm going to my room. I'm going to my bedroom and you can't tell me. Downstairs? You put it downstairs? I'm going to my bedroom. I'm done with you. You... I'm done with your manipulation. Do you have all the materia? You do. Alright. This will just free us up some bag space. We'll be fine and happy after all this. It'll be good for like three weeks off the back of this. There we go. Sorted. Looks good. There we go. Ah, we're good, we're good, we're good. <sighs> Look at all that space! There you go. Easy. Side. Hey, how's it going, Fury? We're doing great. We're, uh, we've been down a rabbit hole, though. <laughs> we've done an absolute rabbit hole. Right, Hilti time. P, Hilti, we go. To the moon we go. Relic quests. The relic quest requires at least a hundred empty bag slots. I am uh, not believing that at all. All right, back in a hot minute, dudes. Need a fresh drink. Make sure Emma's okay. Don't you hate it when the light switch is so far away your body would break before you could reach it? Movemate Plus is back. The device that took the world by storm has returned to shelves. Introducing Movemate Plus Plus. Your favourite social device now has more uses than ever. Using our patented mass distance creation technology, your Movemate Plus now not only saves you from social dilemmas, but also makes your life infinitely more convenient. Trying to make a point during your important meeting? Move me. Passing your friend a drink from across the room? Move me. Using two computers at once to assert dominance? MoveMate. With MoveMate++, Plus Plus, that light switch will never be a problem again. So make your life perfect with MoveMate from MoveMate Incorporated. Wondering how you can get your MoveMate or MoveMate++ Plus 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 Mate? Well, simply use one of your tier one subs and you will get your MoveMate in the chat right now. Or if you want to get your MoveMate++ Plus Plus with its mass distance creation technology, use a tier two sub mate to extend your length. MoveMate, MoveMate Plus, and MoveMate Plus Plus from MoveMate Industries.
Right. Do we go to the moon or what? Where's Hildy at? Do we have any Noahs? Radzahan. All right. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Take me home. Oh, God. He's got to meet the Loperits. <sighs> There's a Loperit infusion coming. Is it Nasha? Nashu! Floor! I have a new lead, and just as I promised, you're the first to know. Before we get into the details, though, I should give back your soul container. I gave it to good scrub first, of course. Being the gentleman that he is, I'm sure the inspector wouldn't want to leave any lingering spiritual odors. There! Now you can listen to my findings without having distracting thoughts like, when is Nashu going to give me back my soul container? Now, as for the le uh, lead I mentioned, I was thumbing through a periodical and found an article on alien abduction. The way it was described was almost exactly what happened to the inspector. He even had a little diagram of a man swimming in midair. Anyway, the author seemed convinced that the victim had been taken to the moon. Yeah, so we're going to see that crazy conspiracy theorist, conspiracy theorist again. I like that guy. That's because it is. You remember Dorian, the editor in briefs? He was the one who wrote it. And he plans on doing research for the next edition on the moon itself. Apparently, there's a portal or something in Garlemald that'll take you straight there. Oh, but a world-hopping adventurer like you must have been to the moon already. Know it like the back of your hand, I bet. I hope Bobby, Bobby uh, Lalafell's not around. I thought so. It'll be nice to have an expert guide up there to help me search for clues. What say? To the moon. Right, I'll start packing my bags. I don't know what the weather is like on the moon, but I remember Garlemald being chilly the last time I was there. Can't I just walk there? Nope. Maybe we'll see Lucia. Any Lucia around? Mod chat Lucia? I'm going to be watching for that stalker in the background of every scene on this. Oh, it's much colder than I remembered. I sure hope this lunar gate is close. The Tower of Babel. You mean that big spiky spire? Well, we definitely shouldn't get lost on the way there. Let's get moving. A little bit. I have pot's ears, which is gross. This person guy is busy paying off one billion gil fine. Eh, uh, maybe. Animal's coffee. Thank you. Thank God. I'm so glad I'm married. Val, what's up, Val? How you doing, buddy? Moving camp for chat blocking? Nah, it's fine. Save us having to readjust it for FF8. Nobody's a terrorizer in the crawlers. God, I forgot how huge this thing was. This was a big old tower. I don't think we went to... Uh, I don't think we went to Garlebald with Nashu. I don't think so. It's... Oh, I see the new Hellraiser. No, I really do want to see it. Apparently it's okay. Like middling. But um, yeah, it's not streaming over here. I think it's um, Hulu or some shit. So uh, this thing will send us up to the moon just like that. <laughs> Courage, Nashu. I'm not sure if Clive Barker was involved in it at all. I've not, I've not checked. The world is in grave danger, and the people, to, they deserve to know. I have to reach the moon so I can expose the truth. As I have explained to you twice already, I can only allow passage to authorized travelers, which you are not. Oh, it's you with them, aren't you? The aliens have infiltrated every layer of our society. 
What in blazes are you talking about? I'm Dalmaskan, born and raised. Oh, look, it's Dorian, the editor in briefs. That's Delion, editor in chief, yes. Thank you very much. And you, you are friends of the abducted, I believe. Floor, greetings. Are you acquainted with this man by any chance? Mm. Not really. No. <laughs> Not really. I wouldn't think so. He doesn't seem the kind of company a hero like you would keep. But Flo, aren't you forgetting that whole conversation we had with Dorian back in Ratsahan? Eh. <laughs> Flo, Flo, yes. As in the floor inspector, yes, slayer of gods, savior of Ishgard, liberator of the provinces, stealer of pants. How did I fail to recognize such an unbelievably famous individual? As a champion of the people, you have a duty, a yes, a duty, to lead us through this fact chain strangling checkpoint. We cannot let your comrade's abduction go unsolved. No, no, no. He needs you, and the world needs my next article. And you believe he was taken to the moon? Well, that certainly sounds like an emergency to me. Your acquaintance here seems sincere in his desire to help, so I will grant him a special dispensation to accompany no, you just this no. once. You may proceed to the nether gate. Ha! Mysterious forces have thrust us together, can't you see? And though I trust the fates about as much as I trust the obviously compromised gate guard here, I will leave no moonstone unturned. The truth! It's up there. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I do miss this music. Oh, the moon is just as white and shiny up close. But not made of cheese. And I see no sign of Inspector Hildebrand either. So. We've already arrived. The Empire's technology is more advanced than I feared. <gasps> Over there. The aliens have built some kind of forward base on the lunar surface. We must sneak in and blow the lid off their invasion plans. Uh, looks like Dorian has the lead. Come on, we should follow him. You can't hear any game sounds? They're not that quiet. I'll fix it in a sec. Aliens! Honest to God's aliens! I never expected them to be so tall, so small and bunny-like. Welcome. If I had known I was receiving so many visitors, I would have sent more tea. That voice speaking inside my head. I don't know the words, but that meaning is clear. Oh, are they wielding psychic powers to try and brainwash me? Uh, are you all right there, friend? Need help with anything in particular? And this one speaks our tongue fluently. Learned it from your Charlie and collaborators, I'll wager. Don't think you fool me, bunny face. What with your adorable bunny nose and silken ears? I'll print the truth before you arrive to beguile my fellow men. You're one of our yard jace friends, aren't you? I'm not sure who or what put such odd ideas into your companion's head, but would you mind setting him straight for me? Uh, the operates uh, allies of mankind. <laughs> the, 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 they've got to you too, didn't they? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I've heard the rumors about the disbanded scions of the Seventh Dawn. The Farmer Secret Society has it become all the more secret. And it may pull our leader's strings from the shadows. Hold it right there, mister. 
I won't stand here and listen to you slander Floor or this lovely bunny any longer. You better not libel them neither. We actually came in search of Inspector Hildebrand, a dashing gentleman who we would think was brought here by a shiny flying saucer. You wouldn't happen to have seen either of them around here, would you? I am afraid I have seen neither. Long was it my duty to keep watch, but as the need to constant vigilance has since ended, I have grown accustomed to idleness. It's rather refreshing, really. Anyway, perhaps the Loperitz may have observed this man or his abductor. Um, I feel I would have remembered if I had. The others might have seen something, though. Why don't you take over to Bestway's Burrow and you can ask them about it yourself? That sounds like a wonderful idea. Please lead the way. If nothing else, getting an eyeful of the facilities we built there for the benefit of mankind should help reassure your suspicious friend here. Nodders? Bowers? Should we ride our, ride our magic dogs? In tribute? That guy could do with like an N64 or something. We usually have it about there. Oh, I do love an instant warp. I do. Good gods. So many buddies. If they could build a forward base on this scale, then what hope does mankind have against them? Oh, for the love of carrots, this is not a military operation. Do you see any cannons or assault craft? We haven't any weaponry at all. Take your time and chat with whomever you like. As for me, I've got perfectly innocuous and not at all nefarious things to do. Bye now. Right. Well, let's get on with the investigation. Oh, they're following me. Okay. I'm taking notes on everything in this base. Floor plans, personnel, abstract tree structures. My next issue will expose their entire operation. Well, he's got to bring. He's got to bring it all down. He's got to bring it all crashing down. Look, they even have an ether right here. An etherite. A convenient tool for meeting with their Charlie and co-conspirators, no doubt. Oh, they'll tell you etherites were an elegant invention, but it was really just one of many alien technological secrets received in exchange for their undying loyalty. Link Pearls 2. Be careful what you say on those private calls. The Charlians are always listening. No other areas of no? Okay. Bosh and no listening in. Mr. Levier. Welcome back, Myth. How good it is to see you again. I tried to make our home as comfortable as possible, so I do hope you bring back more of your kind to visit. Oh. We just need naming way. Oh, I often scratch my legs out there under the stars. But I can't say I've noticed anything out of the ordinary. Sorry. Not to worry. We'll try luck elsewhere. Thank you. Furry faced liars, the law of them! They're probably hiding an entire fleet of alien attack craft. Yes. Every single one of these carrots is potentially a bomb. Dangerous carrot weaponry. Oh, that's a big fan. Must get hot in here. A propulsion engine. Of course. This is no moon. 
You know, the satellite upon which we stand was never a natural celestial body, right? It was a grand fabrication of the ancients. They were in contact with aliens even back then. But the purpose of their ambitious construction has eluded us. And until now, it's obvious that the moon is a colossal starfaring vessel. Yeah. <laughs> it actually is. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Just not hear about the massive evacuation yet. Yeah, but that was a uh, Charlie and Lie. Right. Right. Lucy. Yes. Yes. Even though his, even though their story coincided with what he's seeing now, mm. so it's coherent. What they said was a lie. So. He can't melt steel beams, man. That's the truth. Yeah. That's the truth. Dynamis. What is it really? Probably some sort of mRNA. Oh, and they said, so we built the Excitatron 6000. We got all kinds of people around here. Could you describe your missing friend in a bit more detail? Well, he's very gentlemanly and dapper. If you look past the almost certainly tattered state of his clothing. Hmm. Well, their fashion sense can be a bit eclectic. Uh, visiting adventurers are always dressed impeccably. Not to be rude, but I have a feeling your friend would have stood out in that crowd. He's probably strapped to a table somewhere, even as we speak. Enduring good speed. Unspeakable experiments. From what I've pieced together so far, the giant alien is the master. And all these smaller Xeno bunnies are artificial life forms, created to serve as minions in his armies. The harmless appearance is part of the strategy. As soon as they let your guard down, snap! They take you down like a pack of turny herbivorous wolves. Uh. Dorian has some interesting theories, doesn't he? Being nibbled to death by a mob of cuddly bunnies doesn't sound like a bad way to go. <laughs> True for the lalas, a little bit. No mount. Oh, we can mount here. Yeah. Right, Angelo! They'll respawn when we land, right? Oh, when we dismount. Okay. Whoo. Whoo. Breathe easy. Breathe easy. Uh, no, gentlemen in ragged clothes, I'm afraid. But I did spot an object in the flight that I couldn't immediately identify. It was while I was out gathering materials in the south of Mare Laboratorium. I presume it was just some elegant relic or new species of floating jellyfish. I didn't think much too much of it. Oh, he's off. He's gone. <laughs> cool. Now that sounds promising. Thank you for your time. Oh, God. Oh, no. <coughs> what is this, then? A pod for growing new Xeno bunnies? They must plant to produce them in the millions and overwhelm us with sheer fuzzy numbers. Oh, how could I have been so blind? Those odd ears. They're psychic wave generators. They lure people close with their precious little faces and then BAM! Brainwashed. I figured it all out, alien scum. And once the world reads my special edition, your dreams of domination will be done for! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, what a strange and oddly aggravating man. Is he a friend of yours too? Um, he thinks he's a friend to the people, but I don't think any people are his friends. Right, let's get out there and find that flying object. Do you know which direction is south? Oh, he's been left! Wait, 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 I'm coming with you. Don't leave me alone with the brainwashing Xeno buddies. They should have had, uh, they should have had the, uh, weaving way walk up to him then slowly. <laughs> that, uh, uh. Oh, not uncovered the map. Toxic. Pudding way? Hmm. I think you could have an interesting conversation with Pudding Way. <sighs> Pudding Way zombie mode. Just, just like a general creeper. The map doesn't matter. It's the moon. We can fly. That's all that matters. 
It is beautiful. I'm actually really, really glad we played this before Final Fantasy IV. I don't think I would have recognized that the Loperits were bunnies in those pixelated eras. Hey, Neo Trust, thank you so much, dude. Thanks, brother. The series already has a, a creepy little dude. We don't need another. There's always room for one more, right? Oh, you wouldn't play a Loperit. Surely. Surely you wouldn't Fantasia to a Loperit. When was the last time they added a new playable race to FF14? I don't know what they launched with. Besides uh, an extra gender, like an actual new race. Yeah, I remember the bunny boys. Uh, female Hrothgar 7.0. So Hrothka and Viera were just Shadowbringers. Gotcha. Okay. I thought they'd been around for a while. Search for find objects. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Okay. Oh, she's found puppers. Now she was romping around with Argus. Already forgetting why she was out here. <laughs> Okay. Scanning. What's he doing? Delu is surging high and low for any side of other vessels like a true professional. Oh, we can go all the way. Okay. Oh, we're at max magnification. Uh, scanning the horizon. I can't see it. I am being blind. It must be small. I could be zoomed too far in. Where is it? There's something floating above us. <laughs> That's really unfair. <laughs> That's really unfair. You fuckers. You absolute fuckers. Oh, there it is. And there it goes. Come on. We can't let it get away. We did it, Flo. We found the inspector. Case closed. Horrendous. Well, the aliens could subject a man to such callous and physically implausible fate. Is it a word? Um, are my eyes playing tricks on me, or do you see a whole field of planted Hildebrands? Well, well, what a delightful surprise to see you here, wherever here happens to be. Oh no, they've cloned the fuck out of him. Why, what an impressive specimen of a gentleman you are, good sir. The same could be said of you, my good man. Is this an extemporaneous gentleman's club? If I may be so bold as to join you. <laughs> oh, Nashu's liking this. 
Nashu's really liking this. What's the name of the occult is happening here? Where did they all come from? They're phantom Hildebrands created by the refraction of starlight through swamp gas. Could there be Hildy clones? I'm going with clones. Imposters, you mean? Don't worry. I know just how to find the real inspector. Oh, she's going to throw a bomb at them. Cease and desist, Nashu. Use your powers of deduction. Um, they're also authentic and synchronized. I honestly can't tell the difference. Maybe the only real Hildy would survive. Thinking. Well, look no further, for I am the one and only Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and expector extraordinaire. The one and only... I believe that would be me, good sir. How odd. I think you'll find that I am the original Hildebrand. Oh, I am more certain than that. I am Hildebrand. As am I. Could it be that we're all Hildebrand? How positively marvellous. I propose we celebrate this auspicious moment as only a mob of Mandeville men can. Oh, no. What manner of waking nightmare is this? Well, they all know the moves. They can't be from the different reflections. Perhaps Hildebrand is the one constant throughout the multiverse. Huh. Apologies for the confusion, my friends. I assure you that this time you stand in the presence of the intimidable Hildebrand Helidor Maximilian Mandeville. And his d d diminutive blue chap here is my new associate, Master Poo Poo. <laughs> Another alien species? Of course, you're building a clone army to invade our star. What would we stumble upon as a field test? I do not believe you've had the pleasure, my excitable fellow. But I promise you that the amicable Master Poo Poo has no desire to wage war on any clones. And what is this all about? Are you telling me you weren't abducted? A simple misunderstanding. Oh, Echo! Been a while. Take me home. Oh, <laughs> what a charming little rascal you are. An offshoot of the Mandagora family, perchance. Poo poo, poo poo, poo poo, poo poo, poo poo. Poo poo. Poo poo. 
I see. Please to make your acquaintance, Master Poo Poo. Hmm. Might I inquire as to our current whereabouts? I had but recently reunited with Nashua and Floor, and would greatly appreciate it if you could convey me back to my prior location. Not as... Splendid! Full speed ahead, my dear fellow! Steady on now, this is not what I... Oh my... <laughs> well, it's not what I had in mind right now, but as long as we get moving... Shortly after this, then... Uh... Hmm... Yes... A little to the left, Master Poo Poo. Now I see where you'll get your name. Oof. My word! You've generated a veritable battalion of identical gentlemen. That's creepy. Surely the world could never safely contain so much pure Mandevillian magnificence. Could you perchance reverse the process? That's a big bob. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> oh, gods, no, not like that. Yeah, I get the Lewis War. Mummy! So where has he been now? Thus I have concluded that Master Poo Poo has no grasp of the common tongue, and his true intentions, while surely peaceable, remain woefully unclear. It was only through frenzied gestures that I managed to direct him back here and have him clean up our Mandeville multiplicity incident. Poo poo, I hail. Poo poo, poo poo, from a star. Poo poo, poo poo, a great distance from here. Poo poo, I came in search of a friend whose communications halted mid exploration. All this way to aid a comrade in distress, you say? The devotion, the determination. Your touching story has sunk its hooks into my heart. Fear not, my blue-hued friend, for I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and spectre extraordinaire, have attached myself to this case like a stubborn barnacle on a kraken's behind. I swear to you, here and now, I shall scour all of creation, from the deepest pits of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens for the missing comrade that you so desperately seek. Oh, he's happy! White people! White people happy! Blue people happy! I am glad you are here to help ward off any more uh, poo-poo uh, misunderstandings. 
It's not a stallion thing. It's time the new species of alien. The next issue of the truth will need to be a special double edition. Tell me, Floor, how is it that you're able to understand Master Poo Poo's language? Uh, I have magic brain. The power of echoes, eh? You mean persistent reputation? Sounds similar to the mandible art of parlay. You're saying you have an extrasensory ability that allows communication with aliens? How fascinating, yes. Most fascinating indeed. Pending mysteries aside, I am glad indeed to once more be in the company of my faithful assistant and stalwart contemporary both. Eyes in the dark? Eyes in the dark? So begins the case of the silent correspondent. Ah, oh, not to rain on your parade, but my friend who was somewhere on your star stopped sending me messages. It's not a lot to go on. I've spent years investigating the existence of aliens. Our recent experiences notwithstanding, they are not easy to find. And you don't know Inspector Hildebrand. He'll solve this case as though he solved countless others with an airing perception and panache. <laughs> well said, Nashu. I need but relinquish conscious thought to investigative instinct, and the clues will flow to me forthwith. It's got to be easy. Lose yourself in the detective current, Inspector! <gasps> You're channeling! You're channeling, aren't you? Contacting a higher power to breach the veil of mystery! Another fascinating development. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are. I've been looking all over. Thought you'd like to know that I spotted that chap you were asking about. You know, the well-muscled gentleman with tattered clothing and dazzling teeth. You mean this gentleman? We found him too. Well, that can't be right. I just saw him in the north of Mare Laboratorum. And he ran the other way when I called out. I don't understand how he could have arrived before me. I have a feeling, Mr. Bunny, sir, that what you saw was an imposter. Flo, would you mind asking Master Poo Poo if he was growing any more inspectors on the moon? Ah, uh, did you make more? Poo Poo. I only created a single batch, but one did escape to the vaporization beam. That individual's behavior was uh, unpredictable. A flaw in the cloning process, I'm afraid. We've got a dis we've got a faulty Hildebrand running around. Well, this won't do at all. We can't have a flawed inspector running around besmirching the Mandeville name. Master Poo Poo. I must ask that we hunt down and liquidate my other self as soon as possible. Might we delay the search for your comrade until the deed is done? Poo poo. The imperfect clone was of my making. It's only right that I redress my mistake first. Uh, says yeah. And so begins the case of the imposter inspector. Oh, that does sound exciting. If you don't mind me coming along, I can show you the place where I saw the imposter inspector. Nodders? Nodders all round? Nodders. All right. We're underway. We're going to have to play Dark Hildebrand. Could be kind of spooks. What does a Dark Hildebrand behave like, I wonder? Sinister? Evil? Maybe he has a goodly soul. Moriarty, I could it be that he's quite the uh, quite a dapper individual? Could be that could be the direction they go with this, like a genius, a full-on Sherlock Holmes type. I need to keep checking Medallion. I wonder what some of the nefarious abilities this so-called amicable alien is hiding. I espy with my little eye no dashingly defective gentleman. 
You can't have made it that far on foot. Why don't we try searching the immediate area? Scan the horizon, that kind of thing. Then I suggest we split up so we can cover more ground. Now, Shu, Floor, and I will investigate the northwest. Right, I'll take these other two and head northeast. Splitting the party again? As you're leaving me with the aliens? Oh, relax, Bright Eyes. We'll have a nice chat and I can disabuse you of all those strange conspiratorial notions. Oh, and we can get to know our new friend here. Poo poo. Let us be on our way as well, with Floor in the van, if you please. Oh, God, they're following me. Okay. <laughs> Any talking points? There is. There's a talking point over here. All right. Sprint, Hildy. Sprint, Nashu. Are we going to explain Zodiac to Hildy? <laughs> sure, I'd be curious. Oh, look down there. They have their very own hot spring. My dear Nashu, what you're observing is no hot spring, but a natural reservoir of ceruleum. With such a rich resource to hand, it is no wonder they can afford these palatial residences. Oh, I'm so glad you're here to educate me, Inspector. I was about to take a quick soak. Behold this sublime vista. It's as if the moon herself breathes beneath our feet. Oh, look down there. They have their own hot spring. Okay. Duplicative talking, Sag. Big Sag. The Hammerstruck Thinker. Yeah, lazy dialogue. Unreal. A goldsmithing hammer is lodged in the thinker's carcass. It appears to have been dealt a single swift killing blow. Cool. The bugs grow up big here, don't they? This hammer? Surely it cannot be. Nay, it is not bare thinking about. Come along. Nothing to see here. Uh-oh. They've not... Uh-oh. That's a single cloud in sight. In fact, I've never seen the night sky so clearly. Now that you've mentioned it, it's been nighttime the entire time I've been here. How much longer until dawn breaks, do you think? <laughs> What's a dazzling display of stars? Oh. Again! Duplicating, Sag. Papi wouldn't be here. No, Papa. Another goldsmithing hammer. Another killing blow that bespeaks unparalleled strength. Aw, it looks like it's yawning. The hammer stuck in his head spoils the effect, though. He cannot be here. Why would he be here? That's a goldsmithing tool, isn't it? It does look awfully familiar. And yet completely unrelated to our case, Nashu. Moving on, people. Moving on. No talking point? Okay. A trail of fancy footprints. <laughs> Very fancy. A set of gentlemanly tracks leads to the northwest. Aha! In the sand and the snow or in a half film of moon dust. I'd recognize those fancy footprints anywhere. They're a perfect copy of mine. Our fugitive apostle must be just up ahead. I sense a gentlemanly presence. He is close. Very close. No clothes in the northeastern quadrant that we could see. Where's Poo Poo? Oh. Ha! <laughs> they see me rolling. That's clever. Mr. Poo Poo can scout us from the air. Ha! I found me. Ah. 
I think he's very defective. Why? Why did I flee? He seems sad, downcast, very unexpected like. A flawed creation, to be sure. Such negative emotions would never mar the heart of a true Mandeville man. Papa? Underwear is ridiculous. Praise Thor for his patience. It's good to see my beloved Hildy has been awoken from his unnatural slumber. He missed. Outplayed. This is not what we have come to expect. Abandoning my gentleman comrades to save myself. My pride is worse tatters than my maltreated wardrobe. Oh, it's because he abandoned the other Hildes. A craven. My fatherly love denied. Unthinkable. Unless that is not my son. Godbert probably jumped to the moon. Not as the chase is on. <laughs> the conspiracy theorist is a really good addition to this. Like, what in the fuck? Not a speck of dust on him. Oh, not the power bomb. Uh, another of me survived. Accidental skippage. Brothers to the end. Round and round as fast as I can. I can't slow down. I'm a mandible man. Oh no, is the ship crashed?
It'll all make sense soon. Or it won't. Oh, no, I'm dreaming. I can't possibly be real. Ah, that was the little something we were preparing to welcome the people of Atheris. I almost forgot it was still there. You've just left them down there? You've just left them in there and now are you going to tell them that they can come out? And the trigger was nostril filling. Oh! <laughs> Why isn't Kidu there? The barrage appears to have stopped. But just look at all this junk. Please be sure to pick up your litter before you leave. The moon belongs to everyone, you know. <laughs> Yoink. Oh. Farewell. Farewell. Hildebrand, Helador, Maximilian Mandeville. How glad I am to see you up and about. Your mother will be beside herself with joy. I only stand before you now thanks to Nashu, who stood ever vigilant at my bedside and to Floor, who ferried my soul back from across the rift. My son is indeed blessed with comrades of quality. You have my heartfelt gratitude. If mommy gets the pan out again, we're in trouble. Oh, to you, Master Poo Poo. I extend my apologies. In my excitement, I fear I have broken your starship. If there is aught I can do to help effect repairs, you have only to ask. A poo poo. My vessel experienced a temporary malfunction, but there was no major damage. It brings me relief and joy to hear it. Um, might I have a word, Floor? I had actually come to the moon in search of a certain rare ore. Of my Thal's good graces, my quest has been successful. Relic weapon making? The ore, however, is but the first step of a longer saga. Meet me back in Rats Hard and I'll explain the role I wish to play. <laughs> Wait, I can't be the end of the Hildy quest. Yes, I think it best we make the journey starwards. We'll not find Master Poo Poo's friend from up here unless someone packed an extremely efficacious spyglass. Anybody? No? Then home it is. Oh, please don't say it's over. For years, I've chased the supernatural and the inexplicable, but I encounter so much of it in such a short span of time. My mind still reels from the implications. Yes, I must keep my gaze focused beyond the veil. A chance like this comes only once in a lifetime. So we're all off to space, then? Hmm. Oh. Ah, oh, how lovely to be back on the star of my birth. Father not tarry to chat, but said something about returning here with a trusted employee.
Well, with no time for further familial pleasantries, Nashu and I must devote all our mental energies to the case of the silent correspondent. Oh, I see him. I see him. My keen inspector's sense impels me to begin our search in that direction. Make haste, my companions, for justice waits for no man. Not even one who is little and blue. Inspector, wait. Can't just do make an exception for me. This channeling appears to be remarkably effective. Fascinating, yes. Most fascinating indeed. Oh, forgive me. I seem to have been laboring under a misconception. After spending some time with the Xeno Bunnies, it has become clear to me that they have not the slightest intention of invading our star. They are no threat to us. Not as. But he is! You know of who I speak. The devious Master Poo Poo and his diabolical device is devised solely for world domination. I shall have to investigate him further to learn the intricacies of his plans. But I may require your aid. Not to mention your interpretation. I'll even pay your retainer fees, please. When the time comes, join me on my quest for the truth. Uh, uh huh. Oh, we're wearing clothes. Ah, oh, floor, my apologies for the wait. Shall we proceed to business then? The task at hand is concerned nothing less than a family legacy. The recreation of the historically significant and astronomically magnificent Mandeville weapons. They were the designs of a distant ancestor, you see. While the originals have long since vanished, the manual containing the secrets of their construction survived. A precious heirloom passed down through generations of Mandevilles. Go back to Hildy. Tis true. As a goldsmith, I have had little occasion for crafting implements of war. Why this project and why now, you may very well ask. Then I shall very well tell you. The tale begins not so long ago. I was here at Radzat Han to discuss a deal with an up-and-coming merchant. The matter in question was an acquisition proposal. Alas, the talk soured. So I made preparations to depart. It was then that the sky burst into flame. You know all too well what horrors followed. I did my best to defend the citizenry from the beasts which spawned, yet I could not save them all. Saved far too few, in fact. The memory of it haunted me day and night, and I found myself unable to work. But then I heard the news of how you and your companions had ventured forth to banish this evil in source. You forged on in the face of deepest despair, and it gave me the courage to do the same. I took a good hard look in the looking glass and asked, What could God but Mandeville do to safeguard the people of this star? Thus did I realize that I had both the knowledge and the skill to forge the greatest of weapons. What I might empower others to protect themselves and their fellow man. So I began by, dawning down, by going down the list, acquiring the necessary materials for single-minded purpose. One of these was a goodly chunk of purest mandarium. Mandarium ore. A metal found exclusively in meteorites, and that's only rarely. I searched high and low, scouring impact sites and consorting with kobolds, but all to no avail. Then, when none was to be found on Hydaelyn, I set my sights on the moon, where I at last obtained a sizable ample. Now I say at last, when the last list of materials goes on, if I'm to collect the rest in a timely fashion, I must employ the help of a comrade of quality. When you can spare a moment from adventuring or aiding my dear son in his inspecting, pray drop a word in the ear of my manservant here. I shall clear my schedule of trivial inter interruptions, and we can proceed with the recreation of a mandible weapon forthwith. <laughs> okay, so that's to be continued, I'm guessing. To be continued. Meanwhile. Oh, blue boy. Runs like a Mandeville.
Sound the alarm! A prisoner is escaping! What's that head from? I don't recognize it at all. The robot from the beach. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh! <laughs> On solid ground or far out of this world, beyond the truth lies the weird and absurd. A beloved son, he's second to none. Our agents of inquiry, Hildebrand Mandeville. Definitely not an alien clone. <laughs> No ridiculous teaser of what's coming up. Usually there's some tease for the next episode. Please know that upon completing the quest, make it a Mandeville. You'll receive a Mandeville weapon for a black mage. Oh. Oh. kind of a tease not as big as the other one you know one of the things i was really looking forward to was uh the loperitz and uh and our boy but that did not seem to uh play into it really much at all <laughs> i don't know i thought the absurdity of hildebrand and the absurdity of the loperitz mixed together would have um would have been kind of a moment but it wasn't it was competition not kind of performance. It went in a different way. It's all fine. Oh, I miss Ben. I haven't brought Ben today. He was exhausted this morning. I think all the walking's uh, triggered him. Make it a Mandeville. Go get Ben. He's, I think Ben's quite happy chilling. He's quite happy being a, a big slug today. Mistress Inspector, how wonderful to finally speak with you. Your cooperation in Lord Mandeville's weaponsmithing endeavor is highly appreciated. Regarding said endeavor, we've borrowed a corner of the High Crucible in which to base our crafting station. If you would be so kind as to follow me. Uh, well, I'm getting this weapon, so i am got more item level for the rest of us. What's that area called? The High Crucible of Alchemia. Oh, we've not unlocked it. It's just a, it's a literal brand new area. Okay. Interesting. We investigate. We go further. Just new ether, right? Yeah, that is six two. Cool. We do remember, of course, the big fuzzy alchemy machine, keeping the void at bay. Ooh. Colorful. No turbo elephant. <laughs> you get <did>, gimpy. <laughs> A humble base of operations. You'll no doubt be coming back and forth many times in the days ahead, so I strongly suggest that you attune to the Ethernet if you've not done so already. Otherwise, I trust you are all set to proceed. One moment whilst I inform Lord Mandeville of your arrival.
Oh, welcome, Floor. Welcome. With your Star Wars assistance added to the mix, I have every confidence that this adventure in forging will be a complete success. And so let us begin with a detailed exposition on the history of Mandeville weaponry. Hmm. First of all, when I say Mandeville weaponry, what I refer to is a series of masterpieces crafted by the legendary artisan Godbrand Mandeville, the first lord of House Mandeville. Made with mystical mandirium, these purportedly peerless armaments are perhaps our most prized treasures. Or at least they were until someone misplaced them. Terrible housekeeping, that. Fortunately, the time warp manual in which Godbrand pen penned his secrets is both intact and still within our possession. Thus, with the precious family heirloom in hand, and a ready supply of purest ore, I intend to recreate what we lost. The work, however, cannot proceed without a few more key ingredients. I should like to call upon you to procure said materials, as well as provide a seasoned adventurous perspective on the fruits of our labor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. As a goldsmith, crafting weaponry is akin to venturing into unknown territory, and I would place my trust only in the most proficient guides. <laughs> Speaking of which, may I introduce one of the very best in the business? Come on over, my friend. The alcoholic returns. Oh, bloody hells. I had a feeling you were the adventurer his lordship mentioned was helping out. Like a fly on shite when you catch a whiff of shiny new weapons, ain't you? Come on, it'll be fun, girl. Oh, aye. Like a barrel full of plague-ridden pastors. Look at this gill addled dandy I'm forced to hammer for. I'd rather drag me stones cross hot coals and forge yet another rich old bastard's trinkets. Is that the way of it, then? I contacted Rowena, hoping to employ the talents of Eorzea's finest smith. But since you clearly have no interest in providing me with your services, I shall hire another artisan. We can put this talk of stones and coals behind us. Wait, wait, wait. You got me all wrong, your lordship. Uh, that was just a bit of smitty humour to lighten the mood. <laughs> I'd be uh, honoured to work on your trinket. Uh, Mandeville weapons, aye. So this thing. I already spent the coin this job will bring me on some right fancy bottles of liquor. I can't afford not to do it. So that means we're back in business, yes? Marvellous. Do we have to go farm Bosia? Aye, it's bloody splendid, it is. Your crew is all present and accounted first, sir. So let's get to smithing. There's thoughts I'd like to... more. Presently, however, there are three conundrums which stand between us and making any mandament armament a reality. The first of these is devising of a method for working the mandarium. When I've been able to decipher from the manual, the process is quite demanding. You just leave that to old Geralt. I've yet to meet a metal I can't beat into shape. Oh, then I shall cede that chore to your artisanal ingenuity. The second is the crafting of ornamentation, which will amplify the weapon's etheric intensity. If it's a sturdy blade you need, then I'm your man, but fiddly bits of decoration are not in me smithing wheelhouse. Then it's fortunate that fiddling with bits is most assuredly in mine. Though it shall no doubt be a challenge... To Creating suitably exquisite adornments is a task well suited to me and my goldsmithing hammer. As for the third and final problem, wanting for resolution, we require a vial of Exalamandaville. If one has access to an individual sized alchemical furnace, it should be possible to extract this superlative mineral oil from mandarium rich me meteorites. Assuming I've understood what I heard at process, this Exalamander what's it oil is key to maximizing conductivity. Mm -hmm. And thanks to the good graces of the High Crucible, we have the extraction apparatus we require right here. All that remains is to collect three or so goodly chunks of Mandarian meteorite. That would be your charge floor. And that what you just found on the moon, though. Right. Well, let's see about preparing materials for my share of the workload. And I'll start stalking flames. Sounds like we need them nice or not. Oh, Rarina asked me to tell you something. 
Seems like one of her lackeys is also bloody conveniently set up shop over by Ephraite. They just might have the meteorite chunks we need. Last by the name of old Jabrunner, I think it was. Could save you some searching, but she sure as shy ain't giving out Sky Rocks for free. A saga of hammers, hammers and heroes. Looking good, Gimpy. Making it work, pal. Make it work. All right, tip the mark, tip marketplace. Aye, back tip marketplace. Not penny has to grind. So I'm not sure how the relic weapons work. It's usually you get um get like an early one and then over, they release more as time goes on, like levels to it, stages to it. I guess you could say. You must be the famous floor. Mistress Serena said to expect you and to assist you with any procurement requests. Mandirian meteorite. Why, yes, we happen to have cornered the market on that particular asset. Only so many of them fall from the sky, you see. The collectors offer top gill for such rarities. In your case, however, I've been instructed to request payment in an alternative currency. Say it with me now. Allegan Tome Stones. The going rate is 500 Allegan Tome Stones of astronomy for one chunk of Mandirian meteorite. I'll be here whenever you're ready to make the trade. Okay. Uh, I have enough. We need three. Excellent. Wonderbar. Easy for me. Thank God we did all those variant dungeons. <laughs> well, don't just stand there with your thumb up my ass. Seek goods. Ah, uh, these are proper sky rocks, no mistake. Godbird's not back yet, but I reckon we can get an head start extracting that special oil is. Sway, nerd. Game's changed me, man. We've become too criminally focused. Oh, piss. Bugger. This might as well be cookie grease for all the conductivity it's got. I must have botched one at steps, but which one? Uh. Pretty sure I followed them instructions, the damn letter. There's no fault in... There was no fault in your process, Master Geralt. Oh, how do you explain this bottle of weak piss sitting on me anvil? It has yet to undergo the final treatment, an advanced oil processing technique passed down through generations of mandible lubricants enthusiasts. Oh, no. Ugh. It's yet more than some enthusiastic oil presses to bring this liquid up to snuff. Oh, ye of little faith. Observe. Hey, gods, man, what the hell are you stripping down to your small clothes for? Should have known you were just some degenerate fop. <laughs> Patience, Master Geralt. This is merely the prelude. Don't put it up your ass. Please don't put it up your ass. Behold the mighty squats of a Mandeville man! That should be enough to get the juices flowing. Now, to demonstrate the aforementioned technique. A single drop of potentially empowered mandible perspiration. Hmm. 
the guts. It's full of stars. <laughs> really? We went all the way back to 2001? <laughs> well, that don't change anything. You, you just, it's, you're still just an essential old bugger prancing about and sweating on things. Maybe so, but look closer, Master Geralt. Thus is the Excelamandeville made ready. What do you mean, ready? All you did was add your drippings. Bugger me! It ain't possible. No, I suppose you gotta explain this, are you? One does not simply reveal the tricks of one's trade, especially long guarded family traditions. As a fellow professional, I'm sure you understand. Ah, oh, well, makes no difference to me. Won't be caught dead doing them creepy pauses. Bracing banter aside, I do believe this puzzle is in possession of all the necessary components. Tis your time to shine, Master Geralt. Well, I'll shine, all right. You're a cut above the average craftsman, I'll grant you that, but you've still a few rungs to climb. Best shield your eyes, ladies and gents, because... My work is positively blinding. Oh, fucking, that went deep down my throat, man. <laughs> Thank you, Desmo. <laughs> Thank you, Desmo. Success. Just as I predicted. That right there is a collaborative masterpiece. The Mandeville Codex. Ah, it's not bad. That's how I would love to see my ancestors' wondrous forge work recreated. It may be a happy Mandeville man floor. Let's not break out the bubbly booze just yet, your lordship. We've got a ways to go before we can call our work finished. Master Geralt is quite right. I've neglected to properly explain that, that this is but the first stage of much grander collection creation. The bare bones of the weaponry, if you will. Ah, now begins the endless chore of refinement, which means I'll be stuck here for God knows how long. I am loath to monopolize your time, my good blacksmith, but the manual is written in the most confounding cipher. I'm not even certain when I will finish decoding the next step in the process. So I'm to say idle then. At least have a few balls of quality liquor to keep me company. <laughs> a regrettable yet unavoidable delay. Let's just reconvene when the manual has given up its secrets, shall we? Uh-huh, okay. Meanwhile, I leave the weapon in your battle-hardened hands. When next we meet, your report of its performance will be indispensable in guiding our improvements. Ah, oh, I should you wish to experiment with a different variety of mandible weapon. That this highly trained house mandible artisan is at your service. I've imparted to him the necessary techniques for facilitating this initial stage of crafting. He requires only a contribution of mandarium, beaterite, to forge a weapon of your choosing. It's this guy did no, because he also has to do the, the inlays and things, right? It's not just for sweat. Another naked, naked bastard. What do you mandible fork have against trousers? <laughs> You know what? I don't even want to know. Just leave the smithy to me. When I do a job, I do it right. Very well. And I shall return anon. I am most eager to see the next stage of our masterpiece take shape. There we go. Epic. 615. Woo boy. So is it just three things? A repeatable quest is now available from House Mandible Artisan at the High Crucible. This quest may be accepted to create mandible weapons for other jobs. Please ensure you have changed your desired job of speaking with the mandible artisan. Oh, 
fucking that went deep down my throat, man. <laughs> Darth Falcon. It's also diable in a glorious honey yellow. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. The first stage is easy to lure you into a trap of collecting them all. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It kinda goes. What was the other one we were using? Is it time to drop the Moogler? Mm. Is it time to drop the Moogler? It'll be the first time since the Realm Reborn. Oh, it does come in a delicious honey yellow. The problem is, it's kind of dull. Does it do anything? I assume the basic version doesn't. Not yet. Yeah, it will. Okay, so I think we Moogle it for now. And we return to it when it's got a bit more pizzazz about it. I think that's the play. I think for now it gets Moogled. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Moogle Glamour. Well, I've got the Moogle on most things. Besides ones that aren't allowed to be Moogles, apparently. For some reason. Another another way that Yosh P screwed us over. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, can I take the materia out of uh, the other one? Uh, we've just done the Hildy Relic. Yes, sir. Oh, can I use it for... Is this Scholar only? Is there a different one for Summoner? It is. It's Scholar only. Interesting. Okay. Oh, my other one is uh, Scholar only as well. So, retrieve material. 40%. Okay. Roll it. Broke it. We go again. Roll it. Nailed it. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got there. Yeah, we're good, we're good shit. Cool. Um, oh, I'm going to have to get some gems and shit. Ah, son of a bitch. What's the level of the raid gear we were getting? It's not particularly good, is it? I think we got it on Dancer. Uh, am I wrong? Yeah, normal was 610. That was right, yeah. Are we getting out of Dark Knight? Raid is 610, Savage 630, Tomestone is 620. Okay. But the same Tomestones as you do to get the weapons. Uh, you need to go Cap Tomes or do Savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That will be the plan. Right. I know it's a little slightly early, but as I said earlier, I've got... Like three videos to make today so i'm gonna love you and leave you so we can have a full day tomorrow with drama time and all those wonderful things i'm in my final preparations of what i need to get done so that's gonna be the plan i'm sorry i'm sorry but i, I have so much to do i have so much to do we were just we were working to like 2 a.m last night i need to get things finished before the weekend or we're going to be fucked <laughs> and that's not a good place to be that's not where i want to be so that would be a bad idea so have a great day thank you everybody uh sorry i've been tired today but like i said we only slept for four hours unfortunately hopefully i'll get a nice rest tonight and we'll be uh full and rock and rolling tomorrow so be good i'll see you later all right bye